After Alderaan is destroyed, pilots of the Rebel Alliance fight for galactic freedom. Meanwhile, fearless TIE pilots enforce the will of the Galactic Empire. This is Star Wars Squadrons. I've been looking forward to this game for a while now, and I honestly think it's going to surprise me. This isn't the slower paced Jedi Fallen Order exploration style of game, it's a fast, intense, immersive Starfighter experience, and I think it's going to be much more focused on the warring fleets and factions than the characters themselves. It's about the war following the events of the Battle of Endor, the Empire scattered without their Emperor, and the New Republic trying to restore peace in the galaxy. I'm excited about this. So let's do it. Hey everyone, it's Andrew. <laughs> so the first order of business today is we have to customize our pilots. Let's do the rebel first. I think I'm going to go with this guy body. Yeah, I think it looks more like a pilot's body, don't you? Okay, all right. I think we're going to go for the veteran just because he sighs. That's that's all we want. And let's uh, change the name. So let's just call the rebel bombastic. Enter. Okay, imperial pilot. I think we'll go with this guy this time. And we're going to go ahead and give you a name. Very fitting. Evil. Bombastic. Let's go with that. Let us begin. Welcome to Star Wars Squadrons, everyone. Been looking forward to this game for quite a while since it was announced earlier this year. I never really played too many Star Wars fighter pilot games. I'm sure lots of you know my Our acquaintance with the pod racing game, but apart from that, I've never had much Star Wars vehicle experience. And, anarchy, and paid the price. The survivors continue to spread dissent. Find them. Do not rest until the destruction of Alderaan is complete. I do love the setting of this game, the fact that it's set after the destruction of Alderaan. It's a very interesting time period in the Star Wars saga. Lord Vader's orders are clear. Are they? Yes. Wipe out all that remains of Alderaan. How? I understood the survivors were in hiding. Intelligence reports a possible Alderanian convoy heading to Fostar Haven. You are to draw them out and finish them off. Do you understand that, Captain? Perfectly, Commodore Sloan. Dismissed. You can see the uncertainty in his face, can't you? Right from the get-go. Squadrons on their way. They're excited to fulfill Lord Vader's command. And you? No qualms hunting down refugees from a world we destroyed? During the Iskalon uprising, you taught me to ignore propaganda. They're traitors, not refugees, and will be dealt with accordingly. I've prepped our usual Sigma 9 loadout. No. Only standard ties today. That's interesting. Flying old school, huh. sir. This might be a real challenge after all. Is that part of his plan to escape? You hear me, Teresa. But I don't think you understand me. Interesting. Why? I guess we'll find out. I guess we will. The time has come to find out. Oh, that's me. Hey. Follow my Man, I look very pasty. Don't fire unless I give the order. <laughs> the convoy is out there. We don't want to scare them off. Let's do this right. <laughs> Love the voice. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're in the hangar area. First little look around. First time I'm actually in control. Alright, let's head into our TIE fighter. Nice. Here we go, cockpit. Oh, you can actually look around the cockpit as well. That's cool. 
I'm assuming this is much more so in VR. Okay, we're online, loading that up. All systems up and running. Time to crush the rebel skip. Oh That's man, he has a TIE Advance. That's cool. I thought he said we were only flying TIE Fighters. Left trigger to target the ship directly ahead. Sweet. Oh, here we go. Sweet. Let's do a... Let's try spinning. That's a good trick. <laughs> Straight away, of course. What else would we do? The first thing we want to do. This is cool, though, man. Far out. Okay, decrease the throttle. Can we actually look around. What else is there? Where did we come from as well? From the hangar. What if we go back into the hangar? Is that possible? I want to muck around and, like, break the game as much as possible. I want to see if it's going to take us outside the combat area or if we can actually fly back in here. Oops. Watch it, pilot. Oh. Will have you repainting that hole with a toothbrush. <laughs> Can I bump into that? Yes. Get I'm not taking any health at the moment, though. That's cool. That's my course and speed. <laughs> Thanks for waiting. Sorry, I just had to try some stuff. <laughs> I love the collisions in this game, though, man. That's one of the best things, I think. It's just the fact that you can bounce off pretty much everything as you're flying around. We don't want any collisions. <laughs> no, 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 no collisions, huh? <laughs> okay. I love the fact that, you know, this is already pretty stunning. The fact that we're just flying around an Imperial fleet like this. Oh, that's cool. Can I go in there? They just came out of those. Here we go. Oh, I want to go in the hangar. Let me in the hangar. Let me in. Let me see if I can actually... Nope. Okay. They've got the shields up, obviously. It's good, yeah, the health is locked currently, so I can't um, take health. But these are cool, these are your hangar area. I'm sure, I'm assuming later on we'll be able to actually fly into them, Looks fingers like crossed. This is like old school again. Battlefront 2, docking in one of those, getting out. Still something I miss in modern Star Wars games, being able to get in a ship like that, and get out and actually run around and, you know, destroy the ship from the inside, or resupply and then choose a different starfighter and take off again. This is one thing I used to love to do in Battlefront 2 as well, flying. Whoa! <laughs> That's cool. Oh, damn. I am actually taking damage. In Battlefront 2, or Battlefront 1, sorry, 2015, you can fly super close to those. Oh, okay. There's the repair. That's fun. Just testing the game out, you know, testing some stuff. Let's see if you can fly in that little... Within... Oh, yes, you can! Oh, that's fantastic. That's exactly what you need in these games, hey. This is something I missed in Battlefront 2 Starfighter Assault. The fact you couldn't fly through this section here. It's tight, but you can do it. Oh, jeez. Oops. <laughs> okay. We, we just had, we, we'd definitely be expelled from the Empire or just, you know, killed for insubordination, trying to damage the outside of capital ships. But let's actually get on with this mission and begin. I thought I'd just give you a little showcase of some of the physics of the game first. Okay, Gazanti Cruiser. No, I'm good with the controls, I think, so far. Thank you. Helix Squadron are docked and clear for hyperspace jump. Remember, Helix, we'll have support, but finding the refugee convoy is up to us. They won't escape the Empire twice. Oh, this will be great. Jump to light speed. Let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> I triggered a cutscene or a loading screen. I want to see the full jump, like in the uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2015, the Rogue One X Wing VR mission. That was epic. Okay, I'm assuming this is where the rebels are hiding then. Oh, stunning. Wow, okay. I'm one of those, I'm guessing, yes. Yeah, that's the Gazanti cruiser, okay. <laughs> How many ships are showing up just to take out a few rebels? Must be so threatening. 
isolated trading post in this sector. It's only a haven for thieves and pirates. If the refugees are hiding here, clearly they're not as innocent as they claim. This is cool. I wonder what the interiors of that are like, the Foster Haven. I'd like to go inside and see that explored. I'm not sure if this is new in Star Wars, if this is new to Star Wars Squadrons, or if this is from like one of the expanded, you know, like from a novel or something like that. Obviously, we haven't seen this in any films or video games previously. Interesting. But uh, I like it. Giant space station in the side of a giant asteroid. Floating in space. Okay. Prepare for immediate inspection. And this is Fostar Haven Station Master. Kindly avoid harassing my customers. Someone's angry. <laughs> if they cooperate, they'll be fine. Pilot, proceed. Scan. Face it and tap left trigger to target it, then approach it. Your scan will automatically when you're facing. Okay, great. So we need to scan the target. There we go. So we're looking for the rebels. See, we're loyal. I swear. Damn. No refugees aboard. Carry on. It's one of the stunning things about this game. The fact, yeah, just love how close you can get to things and fly. Intimidatingly close to other starfighters and cruisers and everything else. Like everything is properly textured and the hitboxes on these are properly done. And there's no insta death. Oh, here we go. That looks like a rebel ship, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, here we go. A small volley? <laughs> Let's just light him up. <laughs> Damn. Can we just destroy the ship? No. Oh. <laughs> I want to destroy it. Cycle through targets. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. So, opening mission. They're getting us to take out some turrets. I guess it's easier to hit. Oh, here we go. And power conversion. Here we go. Okay, divert power to lasers. So you see on the bottom, on the dashboard, that's going up to the lasers now. This is cool. Okay, let's find another target. Where are they at? Those two are destroyed already. Interesting that they're getting us to take out, yeah, stationary targets as the practice mission, getting us to fly through this dockyard here. Where are those turrets at? Already, I think you can see how vis visually stunning the game looks. Really impressive visuals and does look graphically impressive. The vibrancy, that was something I was kind of, you know, concerned about when the game was in its early stages, when we saw the first bit of gameplay footage, how kind of vibrant and the art style of the game looks so different to so many other Star Wars games we've seen before. Very different to Battlefront 2 Starfighter Assault as well, which looks much grittier and darker, whereas this is kind of going for that real vibrance, bright colors, making everything look distinct. Okay, rebalance power. Oh, here we go. We found the rebels. Oh crap! X wings. Let's go. This is exactly what we want. Yeah, baby. Okay, take out some of those rebel scum. Oh, there's so many of them. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. So far, I'm using just a controller at the moment, but this controls with the ship feel fantastic. Really enjoying how well it seems to handle. Lead your target. When you're aiming radical turns from white to red, shot will hit the target. Okay. <laughs> you can bring your ship to a full stop, which is kind of cool as well. It's something you haven't uh, previously been able to do in in recent Star Wars games anyway. I can't imagine playing this game with instruments only. That basically turns off all the HUD elements and you're just required to rely on your dashboard for all the targeting and everything. 
how they'd actually do it, I guess. But man, it'd be quite an immersive experience. Oh, this is cool. Whoa! Oh crap! What the heck? Uh oh! I feel so exposed. Just sitting here. Wait, why is he still okay? So he is defecting. And I don't care who ordered it. I didn't sign up to hurt innocent refugees. Nice, dude. And if protecting them makes me a rebel, then so be it. Ooh, he's made his choice. Now let's go after him. Come on. Come back online. <laughs> Mash any button. Yes. Oh. Okay. Let's see if we can destroy him within the first mission so that he doesn't actually make any more appearances in the game. <laughs> Or is he going to have plot armor? We're probably not going to be able to shoot through his plot armor hull. Divert power to engines. Oh, okay. Gain speed and agility. I thought we'd want lasers, though. Let's go with lasers. I'm going full power on the lasers, not hitting him. It's not doing anything. Look at the amount of foul fire power we're giving him. Oh, this is cool, though. Flying through a tunnel like this. I don't think this is an online map. I don't think this is this one features in multiplayer. I think this is just for the story mode, which is cool. But also oh, the rebels are up here. How is he still alive? The amount of hits I've got on his he doesn't even have his shields. He's in a Tie Fighter. Oh, here we go. Yeah, they're gonna destroy the ending of the tower. Okay. <laughs> okay. Damn. Okay, so now we're switching to the Rebels, I'm assuming. This story mode, obviously, if you've heard in the lead up, Echo Squadron. It, um, yeah, you transition between playing as the Rebels and the Empire. Here we go, that's me. Sweet. Oh, look at that cockpit interior, man. Wow. Oh, this is cool. X-Wing. Much rather fly an X-Wing than a TIE Fighter, if I'm honest. So much cooler. Look at this. That call sounds desperate. Can anyone make out what he's saying? They're working on it. Okay, Echo Squadron on me. Hey! Echo Leader here. Admiral, any luck pinpointing that distress call? Hopefully. You may need to get creative. Make sure your fighters are in good shape. Sure thing, man. <laughs> Understood, sir. <laughs> so we're going to... Okay. Coming back around, squadron. Yeah, here, I assume we're doing the same thing that so the Empire did. Control. We're going to patrol the fleet. Starting systems check. Oh, S-foils. Lock S-foils to attack position. I don't think there's a button for that, unfortunately. I think it just does it itself. I don't think you can actually change the the orientation of the S foils, which kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. That's one thing I loved about the X-wing VR mission: the fact you could do that. This is cool. Let's test it. Boom! <laughs> Let's test how good the um, the integrity of the X-wing's hull is. If that it took some damage to shields, laser charge. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if you can change your fire mode as well. That's probably different weapons you attach. So this game's all about customization. What if I start fly firing on the fleet? And let's test the the uh, engines here as well. Let's fly close to here, see what happens. Uh-oh. <laughs> Burning up. Okay. Pick up a resupply. Oh, okay. Is this going to be some missiles we can start firing? Interesting that it's just a giant, uh, yeah, hovering pickup in space. 
They're taking some hints from Battlefront 2015 with the pickup system. Oh, here we go. <laughs> of course, every time. Can I already hear some of the cockpit interior sounds of the X-Wing? It sounds great. Hyperspace! Yeah, there we go. That's more what I was after. That looks awesome. Damn. Okay, sweet. Here we are. Okay, Foster Haven. You can see the Imperial fleet. Yeah, but the convoy's way over there. But the bad guys between us and them. Echo Squadron, transfer all power to engines. Head below the Star Destroyer and wait for my signal. It's risky, but flying fast and close to the Star Destroyer's hull should get us to the other side safely. Oh man, we're gonna fly right under it. Steady. What? Hold. Oh, Bruce charged. Here we go. Whoa! Epic. Jeez, wow, that's amazing. Oh, we lost one. That is epic. Okay, I'm out of boost. Now I feel like I'm completely exposed. <laughs> yeah, no crap. You sent five X-Wings to a mission where there's an entire Imperial fleet. What are we going to do? <laughs> okay here we go let's see what we can do here then that's interesting that we've gone here because we just lost one of our own but we've come to save this guy how is that fair we just lost one of our x-wings did we not and we've just come to save Lyndon and Jeeves and he's not even you know we don't know if he's lying or not I don't know He's just defected and we've come to save him, but we've lost one of our own doing so. That doesn't seem fair, does it? Interesting. Okay, let's see if we can find another target. Oh, loop under here. Use the boost. Sweet. Here we go. Oh, there's a lot more of them now. Loop around, try and get some of these TIE Fighters. Oh, we can fire our missiles too. That's what I'm looking forward to. Let's give that a go in a sec. Here we go. Oh, nice. Let's watch that get a hit. Yes. Beautiful. Lyndon, bro. One of ours died to come and save you. I guess you could have deep Imperial secrets, though, couldn't you? Because you were a high-ranking officer in the, in, in the Empire. Still, not really worth the life of one of our own pilots. Is this the last guy? I think it's the last guy. Fire that missile. Get a lock. Oh, he dodged it. No way. Okay. Not anymore. This just seems all a bit too easy for me. I don't know. Like, yeah, it's cool that he's defecting and that's the main premise of the story, but the fact that we've come all the way here and risked our own lives just to save him, I feel like it would have been better if he just, you know, came of his own accord and showed up to showed up to a rebel base. I just hope this isn't getting, you know, some some of those Iden Versio vibes. I'm optimistic about this story, even though it's written by some of the same staff, I believe, that wrote the Battlefront 2 story. That definitely had some excellent moments, especially the Luke Skywalker mission. You might remember the Lando and Shriv mission as well. I think they were the highlights for me and for a lot of other players, but hopefully we'll see more memorable moments in this story so far this is epic though like the actual fleet battles and scale really enjoying looking forward to getting more into the customization side of things here as well oh here we go oh flying past that it's pretty cool quasar okay let's do a little loop around here where's it at I like the fact you can come to a complete stop. There we go. Destroy a little frigate there. Little. Nice. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. <laughs> Just bounce off the side of it. Can I attack? Lyndon? <laughs> oh, crap. Heading towards a Star Destroyer. Again. Facing its turrets this time. It's okay. Our fleet's coming. 
Well, not fast enough. I see. So we're not here only to get Lyndon Haves. We're here, Lyndon Jave, sorry. We're here to get the entire rebel fleet. Got it. Okay, and that's what this is here. This is the first large-scale fleet battle we're going to experience in this game, looks like. That galaxy. Look at that nebula there. It looks incredible. The color and light coming off there. I want to go exploring inside of it. Okay. Let's go lasers first. Destroy that. Nice. Oh, the sound when you get close to it. You're hearing your uh, missiles and shots thundering against its hull. It's quite a, quite an impressive sound. I like it a lot. Okay, shields are down. Yep. Come on, they're a goner for sure. Nice. Okay, we've destroyed a little raider like that. What else we got? Power back to engines. Let the boost charge. Okay, we're going to get to the other side of that. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So we're going to actually go for the part of the, the Star Destroyer. Oh. <laughs> A little too close for comfort. I like that, though. It doesn't punish you for such messy flying. Okay, can we get out of here now? Can we destroy these turrets as well? Oh, that's cool. Damn, that's epic. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna get out of here. Oh, taking a lot of fire from behind. Jeez. Push out of power to shields, I think. Okay, about to perform the light. Jump to light speed. Here we go. Woo. Amazing. Good opening prologue. Four years later. Okay. We all choose our path. Ah, oh, here we've seen Light this before. Or dark. Freedom or destruction. The Empire chose to destroy Alderaan in order to spread fear and douse the fires of rebellion. But the heroic pilots of the Rebel Alliance have chosen to keep fighting to show the Empire that we are not afraid. It was their bravery that ended Palpatine's reign and brought about our new Republic. However, the Empire lives on, shattered though it may be. As I speak, Imperial forces are edging toward the Bormia sector, hoping to end our new Republic before we find our footing. As their Empire collapses, they try to tighten their grip. But the galaxy is changing, and you can be a part of it. With the help of brave and daring pilots, this war can end. Make a choice. Fly with the New Republic. Change our galaxy for the better. Nice. So this is now after Return of the Jedi, basically. Okay, prologue complete. Fun stuff. I like where we're at so far. I do want to see where the story goes. Okay, so from here, you can actually choose to go to uh, multiplayer or continue the story. Let's continue the story for now. After the Battle of Endor. Okay. Directly after? Vanguard Squadron to Temperance. Do you read us now? Had some trouble with our long-range comms. You're the third Whoa. patrol reporting. What Kyle is that? Head on back, Gunny. The commander will want a full report. Lousy comms. Oh, nice. Trand Ocean. we our tails for hours, and now we're late to meet the new boss. Well, do you want to race home, Frisk? We might make it before his speech ends. <laughs> Keo, I ain't racing you. I learned my lesson the first 12 times. <laughs> Ash, the speech is starting. Okay, so we just met the Rebel Squadron, I think. Oh, this is cool. This is like Return of the Jedi. Oh, it's Lyndon. I'm not one for speeches. So I'll just say, I'm honored to assume command of the Temperance in this fleet. Yeah. Vanguard Squadron's reputation for bravery and integrity is unrivaled. Which is why I affected immediately. We have been reassigned to an initiative codenamed Project Starhawk. Starhawk. Then those rumors about a secret project are true. 
What do you think it is, huh? Some kind of weapon? Sounds like it. The key to victory. If it helps end the war, who cares? <laughs> I care. I like to know who I'm working for. The good guys risk, remember? The only people in the galaxy who don't have a death mark on you. <laughs> who are these characters, man? <laughs> Ain't over yet. When do I get to talk? Come on, back to the temperance. We can meet the new boss and anyone else he's bringing along. Oh, okay, I'm not there. It's only the four of them. Oh, okay, I must be the anyone else he's bringing along. That's me. Oh, sweet. Ah, there you are. Ardo said to expect you. I'm Zorelda Sage, chief mechanic, and this here's the temperance, my pride and joy. I imagine you're excited to join the action. Definitely. Speaking of, here's the rest of your squadron. Hey, Gani, I got your new pilot over here. You go ahead, I'll meet you in there. Whoa. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. I'm Kyra Kuva. You can call me Gunny. Happy to have you on the team. Let's talk after the briefing, yeah? <laughs> Is that a new type of you alien can species? One of the best outfits in the New Republic. Hope you can live up to it. Anyway, follow them into the briefing room. I think our new waiting for you in there. Sweet. Will do. Thank you for the information. Let's head into the briefing room after I, I want to go over there and pat the gonk droid. Can I do that? <laughs> okay. This is cool. Oh, it's Linden. Ah, you arrived. Excellent. Auto, meet our new Vanguard 5. Oh, the one who saved your skin at Foster Haven. Ardo Baradai, Fleet Intelligence. A pleasure. I heard they rewarded you with a posting to Chandrilla. A real honor. Very safe. But a good pilot shouldn't just gather dust. I needed people I can trust. And I figured you'd want to get back into the action. Definitely. <laughs> There's no shortage of that around here. Right. Let's get you briefed. Welcome back to the front line, Vanguard 5. It's certainly built like a VR game, isn't it? Like... They're asking you to experience it in VR. The fact that everyone's looking at you, it's in first person, you know what I mean? Kind of has that feel to it. To get you Damn, that is some high detailed Trandoshan scales right there. Okay, briefing. As you've no doubt experienced, the Empire is jamming communications across the sector. I fear these blackouts could be a prelude to invasion. Vanguard Squadron. I need you to split up to solve this. Frisk and Grace, bring our new pilot to the Brental system's borders. The scouts we sent to investigate haven't reported in. Find out what happened to them. Then regroup with your squadron near the planet Kavis. Gunny and Keo, that's where you're headed. If I were still an Imperial, well, I'd send jamming ships there. Knowing the Empire, I expect they're using these jamming vessels to disrupt our long-range comms. They'll have TIE squadrons in tow. Destroy all Imperial squadrons and jammers. Communications must be restored for Project Starhawk's future. When you've succeeded, regroup and return to the Temperance. Let's see how you do, Vanguard Squadron. Cool. Okay. This is certainly built a lot like the old X-Wing games as well, X-Wing and TIE Fighter. It feels so much more like that. Just the fact that they're doing this entire briefing. Let's talk to Grace. Hey, Grace. How's it going? Grace, if you like. It's a pleasure. No one talks like this. And she doesn't trust easily. Especially those from Imperial families. Okay. Interesting. Well, everyone finds out sooner or later. Yes. Unfortunately, my dear estranged family builds TIE fighters. For oh, that's family. interesting. Okay. And I take great delight in blasting those fighters to stardust. I trust you will too. See you out there. It's These are kind of some uh, RPG elements, it feels like. The way you're, you know, engaging with each character differently and they're kind of giving you some backstory about who they are, where they came from. Let's see if the Keo is the same. They're really going for that quiet player kind of vibe here, like the silent protagonist, which I'm not sure I'm a fan of. Like, I'd like to see more development in my actual character. We'll see how it goes, I guess. All right, let's talk to Frisk. Nice to meet you. Squad calls me Frisk. 
Only Grace calls me by my real name, and only when she's mad. <laughs> Is that so? I know it's not often you find a handsome fella like me fighting for the rebellion, or uh, New Republic, or whatever. We oh, have. that's cool. That's a self-referential joke. I used to be in what you might call acquisitions, you know, hunting down trophies, antiques, anything collectors Wookies? <laughs> Until I got that pesky death mark, of course. How was I supposed to know that painting was fake? Huh? Or that the Imperial Governor was going to show it off to Admiral Thrawn? Ooh. First Thrawn mentioned. That's what's great about this place, though. They always got a berth for a good pilot. Death mark or not. Say, you play Sabak? I'm trying to learn, but no one around here ever wants to play. Oh my god. Is there a Sabak minigame? Uh, go a few rounds, huh? For credits, of course. It's the only way I'm gonna learn, right? Please tell me there's a Sabak minigame. Yes, Space chess. Fix that calm blackout. That's exactly what I want in this game. My goodness. Yes, please. Space chess. All the way. Okay, let's talk to Gunny, the, the one that's got the kind of, you know, scary face. Hi, Gunny. Whoa, Jesus. Finally, chance to get oh, you're a robot. Like I said, the name's Gunny. Stay sharp, keep your nose clean, and we'll be off to a good start. <laughs> we had calm blackouts like this right before the Empire invaded Mimban. Lost a lot of friends. But I learned to shoot a blaster. You'll be flying with Frisk and Grace today. Meet them if you haven't. The best advice I can give you is this. Stick with your squadron. It's simple, but sometimes hot shots and lone wolves need to hear it. Cool, thanks, bro. Get to your ship. <laughs> There's nothing else to do. I can go back to the briefing room, or I can just prepare for launch. Let's do that. X-Wing. Ah, the X-Wing. Backbone of the Rebel Alliance and our new Republic. A good old rounder that'll stand up to any starfighter or capital ship in the Imperial fleet. Okay, so we just got a pretty standard loadout. I think concussion missiles, seeker warheads, countermeasures. Okay, let's launch. Cool, cool, cool. Second mission, or first mission if you want, in the actual story. The cockpit, my goodness, looks amazing. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Power management systems. Check. All right. I'm loading in your astromech droid now. Keep oh, yeah. Out. That's exactly what I want to be able to do. Look all around. Oh, the astromech. Hey, man. Just called droid? Can we, can we get a name? What are you? I'm going to call you R3. Because why not? There's R2s and R4s, no R3s. They probably are R3s, you know. I'm just, you know. <laughs> Don't have the Star Wars knowledge to know. But, for the sake of this, we'll call him R3. Or R-bomb, how about that? R-bomb. Hold to view loadout. Wait. Oh, there you go. There's your loadout. Repair droid, sweet ass. Okay. Cool. Oh, Frisk is flying a Y-wing. Oh, you wing too? A wing. So we're going the full squad, basically. It's just the two of us then, huh? We were just escorted by the U wing for the sake of being escorted. Oh no, there's. There you go. How many are with us? It's hard to tell. Can't see on my. Okay. Time to make the jump. Let's do it. Let's get out of here. Engines are hot. Let's do this, Vanguard Squadron. Three, two, one. Ba boom. Woohoo! <laughs> so cool, man. Wow. This never gets old, eh, hey, Grace? Never. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking this a lot. This is epic. Okay, what system are we in? No scouts showing on sensors. You got anything, Grace? Negative. We've got to be able to find someone out here. Wait. I've got a republic. A republic? Signal. Oh, new republic, of course. Temperance. I was gonna say. We may have... 
I'm wondering if we're going to get any Clone Wars references in this game. It's not really the time period, but that's definitely something I'd love to see in here. I hope the scouts are all right. Me too, Grace. Me too. Let's see if we can pump the powder engine, see if we can go a bit faster. Wow, that's pretty scary. Can we get any closer to see if there's actually someone in the cockpit? No one there. Yeah, no astromech either. Someone really didn't want these scouts getting home. Hey, I'm picking up a second signal. Let's check it out. That's another place I'd like to see this game go. Some of the darker themes of Star Wars. See how it is a gritty time in the Star Wars saga. After the Empire has fallen, everyone's kind of, you know, fighting for their scraps, trying to pick themselves up. The New Republic are growing, but aren't still, as, but it's still not, you know, as big as you'd think. And then the Empire is crumbling. You're seeing kind of things falling through the cracks. You're seeing death where it, where it shouldn't be. You're seeing the casualties. Okay. Here we go. This is what we want. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can first destroy this ship here. Want to actually destroy the main ship? I feel like that's the way to go, right? Destroy this first so they can't get out of here, and then we'll take care of the TIE fighters. Where are those TIEs at? Finally, my guy's talking. Wait. <laughs> just killing innocent well they're not innocent just killing random imperials <laughs> oh, okay that's cool I'm not really sure how that works scanning something to figure out where they last came from what have they got some space dust on them from a different sector different galaxy <laughs> Let's see. Some Star Wars to... magic happening right there. Uh-oh. We Ooh, I wonder how many of the squadron will actually Our die. That's interesting. Wouldn't that be I great if, like, next. they just introduced us Wait, to all these characters and in the opening act of the game, one or two of them get killed off? Is that too dark? Okay. Oh, getting a bit too close for comfort there. Okay, let's see if we can loop around and take another swing at that ship. Yep, you're toast, my friend. Goodbye, sensor jammer. Where's the other one? Just tear it to shreds. Loving the explosions as well. Done. Okay, let's get rid of the TIE fighters. Clean them out. <laughs> They're just stopping in midair. What the heck? Why are they stopping there? That's so weird. Almost stopping to allow me to kill them. Damn. Okay, here we go. Where are they? You're really f already feeling kind of the vastness and openness of space. Just traveling so slowly, just the three of us, you know? And where, you know, obviously there's high stakes, our squad is in trouble, but it just feels so open. I love that. Oh, is that a bomb? Oh, that's cool. Oh, missile locking. Where's my next target? Directly behind me, they're on my tail, okay. Swing around. Imperial reinforcements. Another goes anti Cool. Signs. Done for. Then we take them out too. It looks like it's gonna be a lot of this, hey. Just a lot of. Like 
jumping between different ships, destroying different frigates and, you know, battalions. Not battalions. <laughs> Fleets. Cool. Where are those cruisers at? Oh, that's cool. Okay. A supply droid will temporarily attach to your ship, repairing your hull and restocking your armaments. It's like a buzz droid. Hold to request a supply. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> Thanks to the repairs, just crashed directly into your ship. Okay. Oh, we're going back to the Gazanti. All right. Let's get there. Is it a Gazanti or it's a one of the other ships? I don't remember. Copy. Okay, I like that it's teaching each of us how to play as well. Like, it's teaching you all these separate moves as you play through. Oh, enemy locking. Oh, dear. Get out of there. <laughs> okay, all right, let's go destroy these ships. Countermeasures. Okay. Deploy countermeasures. Do it. Yep, get out of here. Let's destroy this ship. Doesn't take much to just swing around and get rid of this ship. Done. Okay, now let's go for the big one. Wonder if we can actually destroy the turret first, or is there a shield? Oh, okay, we're still going after the shield first. That's interesting. Oh, there you go. Okay, so once the shield is down, then you can destroy the turrets. Where'd the rest of them go? <laughs> it's just our ship. Mission complete. Oh, cool. Okay, bronze. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it is very mission-based. This is so similar to the old X-Wing games as well. Loving it. Oh, okay, and you, I assume you can talk to them after every mission as well. Let's do the briefing. As you may have overheard, Talos Group has called up the Imperial Star Destroyer Victorum above the planet Yavin. They're in tough, but it's presented a great opportunity for us to jump in and not only disable that Star Destroyer, but to seize control. So we're going to actually take so first, the Star Destroyer. So first, we need to give ourselves some cover by knocking out the turrets. Naturally, if we can also take out the targeting system, that'll buy us even more time. Next, we need to prepare the Star Destroyer for boarding. We'll need to find a potential breach point in the Victorum's hull, preferably near the bridge. Okay. Once you find a good spot, Bombard it until the hull is breached. However, we can expect that the Victorum still has plenty of TIE fighters. They will try to stop us. Obviously. Once the are clear, <laughs> we can bring Can't just destroy a Star Destroyer and take it the bridge, without them trying to stop us? will defend the exterior from reinforcements. Once the boarding team has seized the bridge and is in control of the Star Destroyer, we will rendezvous with the Templates. Okay, I think I accidentally made stealing a Star Destroyer sound simple. Let's hope it is. Let's hope it is. Yes, but it's definitely not going to be. I don't understand how you can say stealing a Star Destroyer is going to be simple. But anyway, let's let's go with that and let's have a chat with Wedge. Why not? Sorry for the speedy introduction. But Talos Group was counting on me to get reinforcements fast. Your commander says you have talent. Enough to steal a Star Destroyer and get away with it. Mm. Normally, I'd have Rogue Squadron for this, but General Sindula gave me a temporary assignment to Project Starhawk. Meanwhile, Rogue is handling, well, that's classified too. General Sindula keeps... Yes, yeah, she does, indeed. Thank you. Your commander and I have something in common. I once flew for the Empire too. The sky oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Turning to the Rebellion was the smartest move I ever made. Nice. I wish more of my friends... Had I didn't realize Wedge was part of the... Look, I appreciate the Empire. talk, but uh, Talus Group's waiting for us. Okay. Uh, so I can still talk to them? Yep. Okay, Lyndon and Art. Yeah, no crap. Obviously. Get out there as soon as you <laughs> We're going to steal a Star Destroyer. They're like, oh, yeah, watch out. They're, they might... They'll probably fight back. I'm like, yeah, obviously. It's a Star Destroyer. You don't just take a Star Destroyer. First time using them for sure. Oh, that's sweet. Some of the cinematics in the game 
truly stunning. And where's the rest of the fleet? Please tell me it's not just us and Wedge. Whoa, okay, that's epic. Yavin Prime. This place always brings back memories. <laughs> Let's hope for some of that Skywalker luck today. Hey, first right. look Skywalker hey, reference. Vanguard. We're heading for the heart of the action. And I wouldn't call it luck. Vanguard, follow his lead. In my experience, there's no the such thing as luck. For immediate assistance. Captain Antilles with Vanguard Squadron. Here, here we go. Okay, there is a fleet here. Okay, switching powered and weapons. Iron weapons deal minimal damage. Oh, okay. Squad tactics. I forgot I had iron missiles. That's cool. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Let's do it. Hey, R3. Our oh, bomb, my man. Oh, the interceptors are fast, man. Wow. There's a real difference in how each starfighter handles something unique to this game, for sure. Looping around, trying to get hit on these interceptors. Okay, we're doing well. There's only a few left, I think. Yeah, this guy. Cool. Fighters are down. Let's go after the Star Destroyer. Oh, that's so stunning, sitting with the planet behind it. What the heck? Hold X and then... Oh, okay. So you hold X. Oh, and then you can choose front and back shields. That's great. Or balance. Okay, let's go front. That's epic. I love the shields. So if someone's on your tail, you put them behind, focus the shields on behind. And if they're in front, you focus them towards the front. I love it. Yep, balance. Love how they're just bantering and we're just here with this giant star destroyer. It's like, what? Come on. Okay, let's go to the top, see if we can scan one of these. It's so casual, it's just like, yeah, there's a Star Destroyer sitting here, just in the open. And it's like, it's all good, now nah, we can wait. Oh crap, okay, you have to stay looking at it to scan. Hopefully my squad mates will defend me from all the incoming blaster fire. Okay, let's go to the back of the ship, see what this one is here. Where is it? Yep. How do I scan that? I'm gonna go right to the back. Bridge point. Take down that cruiser. It's interesting. Yeah, are they not sending in more ships? I figured that would be the next. <laughs> oh, okay. You can change flagships. Oh, that's cool. So, flagship systems. Cool. Select all enemies. Where's that? Okay. Got it. Cool. Can you actually fly inside there? I want to try to do that again. Before we destroy the Quasar, let's see if we can fly in the hangar area. Okay, let's go down. Where is that hangar? There it is. Can we go inside? Yes. No. <laughs> I'll be honest, it is getting a little frustrating having to constantly regroup on the squad leader. Especially seeing as though the rest of the squadron is already with me. I think it's just to trigger the next, like, mission objective, but still. Okay, that's just inspect, so I assume we're going inside. Oh, yes! I can inspect the gonk droid! Come on, let me go pat the gonk droid. <laughs> you can interact with the gonk droid, I love it. So good. The game would definitely not be complete without that. Hey there. Wonder if I could wave to it in VR. That'd be cool. There's nothing through there, is there? Okay. All right, let's go inside. Good to know gonk droids are something you can interact with in the game. So I'm assuming they're trying to take back the Star Destroyer, obviously, because why wouldn't they do that? Let's have a little gaze around. Someone's working on a laptop there. A couple more pilots standing around. And briefing. Let's go. We have an emergency. The Star Destroyer you captured has unexpectedly fallen out of a hyperspace behind enemy uh -oh. lines. Our troops are repairing the hyperdrive as quickly as possible, but you need to buy them some time. There's an Imperial fleet advancing toward the Star Destroyer Victorum. I want A wings intercepting enemy fighters. The rest of Vanguard will provide defense and support. I know Imperial protocol better than most. 
I have no doubt the Empire will disable the Victorum with ion weapons before sending shuttles to recapture it. Stop them at all costs. The Empire must not reclaim the Victorum. Once the Star Destroyer's hyperdrive is operational, cover its escape so it can jump to safety. I'll send you rendezvous coordinates when the time is right. Okay. Our launch mission. Can't wait. Far out. We've finally got to customize a ship. A Wing's the first one we're customizing, which is all good. Now let's uh, see what we can do in the mission. You can skip these cutscenes, but why would you mean it looks as stunning as this? I can't believe, honestly, how much of a throwback those leaving a capital ship is to the old X Wing games. X Wing and TIE Fighter. Oh, sweet. Oh, cool. Okay. The cockpit of the A-Wing looks amazing, but let's take out some of these bombers. <laughs> so cool. Just testing some of the other auxiliary weapons as well, it's so cool. Being able to fire like constant barrage of weapons, of rockets. Here we go, L1. Let's fire this at them. Just rocket after rocket, and then if... That one's a seeker one. Sweet. Tugging in a minute, you tap to order an attack. Can I do that? Tap to order the squad to engage your target. Sweet. Yep. There it is. Wow. Sliding that chip all over the place. I love it. Oh, it's so much fun. <laughs> Let's try up on top of the Star Destroyer. I think it'll be much clearer to see the actual boost. Yep, sweet. So, oh! <laughs> Directly into the ship. Okay. That's cool, though. Let's see if we can fly through. Oh, it's so tight. Oh, no! <laughs> Direct hit. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Love it. Can you do it up as well? You can. Oh, you can drift in any direction you want. That's so cool. Love it. Okay. Let's actually progress the story now. So we've learned how to drift. We're getting the hang of that. We we'll have to start trying to use that as a, piloting, as a piloting maneuver. Now let's regroup and continue this objective. Did I fly straight through the, <laughs> the mission objective? There we go. No more radar. What else can we take out? There's a TIE bomber down here somewhere. Let's go for him. So what are you guys thinking of this so far? Are you enjoying it? Do you think you're going to play this yourself? What do you think of the space combat? What do you think of the story itself? I mean, it's not really honestly taking me on the biggest journey. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not really very character driven. It's more just about the skate the scale and scope of these kind of large-scale fleet battles you know everything to do with the Starhawk project I'm still waiting to switch back to the Imperial side I was assuming that would have happened by now again but it hasn't we're still playing as the rebels This is, so we're just moving into the, yeah, the ship now, uh, what map is this called? The, um, okay, so this is the Nadiri Dockyards, this is what we saw, yes, and this is where Project Starhawk is, okay, I think we're good to go. That's why we've been gathering Imperial ships, to build this. Oh, Terra! General Sindula. Hello, Vanguard. Welcome to the Nadiri Dockyards. I'd give you the tour, but the Empire knows we're up to something now. They'll be looking for us, which means we have work to do. Sweet. Okay, continue. Fantastic. So we were right at the end of that mission when it crashed. <laughs> 
ISD Overseer Talsim system. Oh, here we go. An old enemy has finally surfaced. One of my spies has linked the attacks on our Star Destroyers with the New Republic Starhawk project. The common factor is Lyndon Jays. You knew Jays better than anyone, Captain Carroll. If I had, I'd have destroyed him before he betrayed us at Fostar Haven. Then this is your second chance. The rebels are keeping a low profile. Take Titan Squadron, hunt down this Starhawk, and eliminate it. Gladly, Admiral Slain. But if I may ask, there's a particular pilot I'd like to requisition. Okay, finally we're switching to the Imperial side. So we had three missions as the Rebels, I think, so I'm assuming maybe we'll now we'll have three as the Empire. Is it true we're getting a new pilot? Copy, so. Captain Carroll's bringing someone in, John. The treacherous slime taking our ships. Good. More the merrier. <laughs> Easy, Von Reg. Remember the last time you lost your call? The day I cut through a whole squadron of rebels and saved your neck. Whoa. Shen's right. Tighten it up, Sol. And Von Reg. That guy's helmet. For the enemy. Overseer to Titan, finish your inspection. Your new wingmate has arrived. Okay, this is cool. You really feel like there's been a shift in mood now, and we're moving into the Empire side of things. Just the color and the darker tones, just seeing everyone wearing helmets, there's less personality going on, I guess. So, you're our new wingmate. Thank you. Welcome to Titan Squadron. I'm Varko Gray, Squadron Leader. I think they're waiting for you in the briefing room. This feels more realistic. I like this. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Something about the Imperial perspective. So that guy, Varko Gray, that's who we saw in the Star Wars Squadron CG trailer that came out a few weeks ago. You might have seen that. Very cool. If you haven't, you should go check it out. Mouse droid. <laughs> There's a little helmet in there too. wonder if we can interact. Oh, we can. <laughs> you can actually interact with it and inspect it. it does a little mouse droid sound, runs away. Okay. Okay. It's so cool seeing all the stormtroopers walking around, though. We should get up a bit closer, maybe later. Let's head into the briefing room, see what's going on in here. Oop. Wow. Welcome home, pilot. It feels like a lifetime since Fostar Haven, doesn't it? One fool betrays his squadron, and loyal officers like us are... Reassigned in disgrace. I heard they sent you to the Outer Rim. I got the Merim Sector, protecting fuel shipments from petty scoundrels and pirates. The kind of posting that used to end careers before Endor, before Lyndon Jabes reappeared. No doubt you've heard. Admiral Sloan has instructed me to hunt that traitor down and end this Project Starhawk. It seemed fitting that I bring you back to help me destroy Linden. Your empire needs you, pilot. Absolutely. Let's go crush the I rebel scum. Me. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> Good. For now, you will be flying as Titan Three. Cool. Let's get to work. Where are you going? Oh, this guy. So he never takes his helmet off, does he? That's mysterious. Let's do it. Are we ready to begin? One of our spies, Agent Thorne, has discovered vital intelligence on Project Starhawk. Your mission is to extract her from an orbital outpost above Hosni and Prime. Your job is to secure the outpost for our extraction team who will arrive aboard the shuttle Gladius. Behind enemy lines, you must be precise and swift. We have no room for error, Titan. To gain access, you'll have to eliminate perimeter defenses. Intelligence reports missile platforms defending Hosnian space. Destroy them. The outpost itself is protected by turbo laser cannons on all sides. Evade and eliminate them all. When you've secured the area, you will escort the Gladius to the outpost, and our extraction team will acquire Agent Thorn. Once Thorn is secure, reach your Gozanti cruisers and return I'm to the not... overseas. <laughs> 
I'm not sure how much of that I took in. I really kind of just phased out. But I want to talk to him first. Why can't I? Oh, is he, does he even have a limp? Is he limping? No, he's walking normally. Okay. Look at those dudes down there. Hello. In the little bunker down there. <laughs> I don't know what they're controlling. All right, let's have a chat. All right, this is the guy I want to talk to the most because he seems to be the most mysterious. Welcome. Shen. Welcome to Titan. Ooh. What? Fight. Fall. Get up. Fight again. So he's like Darth Vader without All the force, basically. <laughs> Advice. <laughs> oh. You sure you fit for Don't Judy, my pilot? Good talk. Another time. Okay. <laughs> Short and sweet, I see. <laughs> Rebel scum. That's the angle I want to see explored more in this. I want to see us fighting from the Imperial side. That's what I've been waiting to get into this whole time. Because it still is something we haven't really seen in a Star Wars game. Chief mechanic and head of the hangar crew. Not one I've played anyway. See the appeal and just say the word. Oh, here we go. Sweet. Can I customize the ship? Good fly. Um, was he a South African or a New Zealander? I couldn't really tell. Yeah! Mouse droid! My bro! Here we go. This is the part I'm very much looking forward to. Customizing the loadout. Oh, it has a burst cannon. Yes, definitely going to go with that. Okay, we've got the repair system. Onslaught rockets. I feel like they need a repair system, seeing as they, they don't have shields. Um, okay, let's choose the ones we don't have currently switched on. So those two. I never used those before. Chaff particles. That sounds great. Okay, fire her up. Let's get into space once again. Okay, where are we? Oh, this is the mission we saw explored in the trailer, in that story mode trailer we saw. Above Hosnian Prime, the planet that looks like Coruscant. Copy of Coruscant. Okay, where are we heading? Okay, we've left and right as you fly toward a target to evade blast of fire, no problem. Oh, that drift! Mad drift, bro. <laughs> so much fun, now that you get the hang of that. Switch that off. Go for a little drift in space. What? I mean, all the customization the options are basically for an FPS game. First person shooter. Oh, you can actually see stuff on the planet moving right down there. That's cool. Damn. What a stunning planet. That is epic. Wow. <laughs> I'm not going to focus on the mission. I'm just going to focus on the planet and surrounding details. Emergency power converter, which allows the pilot to instantly convert all power from one system to the other. Right. So you're going to teach me this? Hold X to use the power converter. Ah, okay. Okay, let's go to weapons. Man, these ships are dying easily. Damn. Okay, destroy fighters before reaching the ladies. Let's go. Divert power to engines. Let's get over there. Okay, I got no boost left. That's fine. Oh, destroy fighters before reaching the Gladius. I didn't... So uh, there's optional mission options. I'm just noticing. That's pretty cool. I like that uh, we have the choice. I like that it gives us the choice. Oop. <laughs> just destroying my... Oh, crap. Oh, man. I'm actually taking quite a bit of damage. It really makes a difference having the shields on the uh, rebel side. Or, sorry, New Republic. My bad. Not correct. Okay, let's divert to 
weapons. Resupplied. Oh, sweet. I got a health drop. That's cool. Flying through space sessions like this, though, might give you an idea of what the multiplayer is like. I feel like this is, you know, a lot of what we got to experience that brief day we got to play this game. But, um, yeah, it feels much quite similar to this, where you're flying in and out of the star of a space station and, you know, you're able to duck and weave in and out of its... It's trenches and it's, you know, it's crevices, trying to dodge enemy fighters and lose them, shake them off your tail, that kind of thing. Cool. Okay, we're getting out of here. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, this is where another fleet comes in. Oh. The rebels are really trying to take this shuttle down, man. They've sent a whole fleet where just five fighters try to defend this thing. Escort the Gladius. Okay, so I'm still on its tail. I'm not sure we're able to destroy this. Too many of those Corvettes, man. We can't really do much about it, I think. Far out. This is epic. I'm trying to get out of here. I can't believe this ship is still around. Like, they're literally focusing a full fleet on this one shuttle. <laughs> we're still alive. We're still out of here. It's crazy. I'll try spinning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get out of here. Okay, but we can't jump to light speed, can we? we did it. Yeah, we have to... Yeah, there it is. TIE fighters aren't capable of doing that on their own. We need one of these guys. Oh my god, get out of here. Time to go. <laughs> Literally, the rest of the fleet shows up. How come they don't send that kind of support on our missions, on the rebel missions, when I was doing that side of things? Agent Thorne may not have known the precise location of Project Starhawk, but the intel has pointed us in the right direction. Then we will proceed as planned. Oh, hello. Captain, <laughs> is this the new pilot? Yes, a valuable addition to the squadron, wouldn't you say? Indeed. Marvelous work securing Agent Thorne. You've exceeded your previous statistics by... Oh, forgive me. I'm so familiar with your profile that I forgot we haven't actually met. I'm LT-514, Imperial Intelligence. I'm eager to analyze your performance in the upcoming mission. Captain Karen, shall we proceed with the briefing? Is he a full droid? Or is he a cyborg? Was he part human once? Also, does he craft his beard and goatee like that? Does he do his own moustache and goatee? Because if he's a droid, I'm wondering if that's just like always his facial hair. Like it's been given to him to give him a human looking appearance. Their chartered path leads them straight through the contested territory of De Severo. According to our new information, the convoy will attempt to conceal its presence in a local debris field. Follow the convoy through the wreckage and allow them to jump to hyperspace. We will calculate all possible destinations along their trajectory to find Project Starhawk. You must not be detected. You cannot risk losing this convoy. Local Imperial forces have been advised not to interfere. Once the convoy is clear of the debris, it will leave the system, pointing us toward their hidden headquarters. Once we have their jump vector, return to the Overseer and prepare for immediate redeployment. Okay, fantastic. Let's do that. So you two are leaving. Really getting, I don't know, strange feelings from these... It's such a strange way of engaging with a conversation. It's like you're observing two other people having a conversation, but they're directing it at you at the same time. The way their body stance is always like facing you. It just, it doesn't feel real. I know it's supposed to, it's supposed to feel like a VR kind of experience, but it just feels so put on and like they're just doing it for the sake of, you know, because it's a game and this is what we're doing in this game. It's like a role-playing thing. You're trying to experience what these characters are telling you. It just doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel natural. Let's go with that. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. Squadron mask. Titan 3, you've been caught. The mission is a failure. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I ruined the mission. Okay, all right. Restart from checkpoint. Because I was boosting and I didn't use the squadron shield or the, whatever. Oh, my bad. My bad, boys. Let's try again. Have another go. Don't boost your engines. <laughs> it the entire boosting is literally the first thing I did. Funny. Oh, man. Just trying to get to the get to the next point. Okay, let's get up there, see how it is. This is cool. It's like a stealth mission. This is exactly like that CG trailer. Oh, we're having to actually shoot the missiles down from the Star Destroyer. <laughs> what? That's cool. This is actually something you can do in the multiplayer as well. You can shoot missiles. Why are they so slow though compared to all the other all the other weaponry? Can we intercept a missile with our hull? Like what if I fly into one of them? What happens then? Let's see how close I can get. Okay, let's try and intercept it. No! <laughs> Went straight through us. This is literally this entire mission, just shooting missiles. That's awesome. So it's like a temporary shield around the outside of it. That's so cool. The frigate is about to explode. But, but I won. He's dead. What a waste. At least we have what we came for. So we're back, we're switching back to the Rebels now, are we? How many missions do we play as the Imperials? It was only two, I thought. Perhaps it was three. Hey! <laughs> Little droid, how you doing, man? You can engage with the Astromechs, that's awesome. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Wow, oh, the pilot's running off to other missions too. Hope he's my Astromech, that's so cool. So full of life. Hey! C-3PO, or a, sorry, a uh, protocol droid up there. Is it just me, or did that feel like it went on forever? Jesus Lord. Um, also, I'm still waiting for that Sabak game. When are we playing Sabak? Also, I want to touch the... I want to play with the uh, Gonk droid. Can I do that? No, I can only inspect the Y-Wing. Let's go exit. Oh, people running. That's cool. Okay, briefing room. What's going on in here, fellas? You're right, Lyndon. My contacts verified your suspicions. It's her. I knew it could only be Teresa Carroll. Her mark is all over these attacks. Yeah, sure. We know her style. <laughs> What's her what style? Only one Kill rebels, right? The prime in the engineering convoy. She's searching for Project Starhawk. That's why I've already taken steps to stop her. Before she can find the Nadiri dockyards. Before anyone else gets hurt. Lyndon, what have you done? Uh -oh. Relax, Ardo. All I did was send her a message. One she can't ignore. What does that mean? What is that? That's making us uneasy. What do you mean? You sent her a message she can't ignore. That's like making her an offer she can't refuse. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, hey, dude. The briefing's ready to go. Oh, no, I want to be able to customize as you. You look cool with the gray hair. 
side part. I like it. Oh, can we play as a protocol droid? Please, let's do that. Okay, briefing, let's go. Of mine, Teresa Carroll, is leading the Empire's search for Project Starhawk. She won't stop until it's destroyed. So I've initiated a plan. I sent a message that we know was intercepted by an Imperial listening post hidden near Esselus. Esselus, that's how you say it. Bait for Teresa. And now that the Imperial post has served its purpose, we're ready for part two. If we destroy that listening post, Teresa will think we have something to hide and follow that message to the letter. Vanguard, I want you to take Y-Wings with heavy ordnance to that post in Esselus and bomb it to oblivion. A Corvette will join you to draw Imperial fire. Gunny will support and resupply our bombers. These are your targets. We've identified the receivers along the hull as weaker areas. Destroy them all. Additionally, destroy the thermal regulation systems along the exterior trench and any dishes atop the listening post. If you pull this off, we'll rob the Empire of a valuable asset, and then Teresa will fall right into our trap. So, as Sally's is the map I got to play in the playtest in, I think it was just the dogfights game mode. It's lots of fun. Wouldn't it be a major twist if he, in the end, actually, like, turned on all the rebels and went back to the Empire, even after Alderaan and everything? Oh, there's an X-Wing there, that's cool. Quarren? There's a Quarren working on the X-Wing there? I think you're a Quarren, aren't you? From what I remember in Battlefront 2, or Battlefront 1 as well, you creature you can play as in battle for one let's go to the cockpit can't do any of the other customizations just yet but I can turn around and see all the blinking lights the astromech exit cockpit oh now we're at the back how do i just okay exit circle and then prepare for launch My wings are built to carry bombs and other heavy explosives it makes them slower but they pack a punch against large targets and capital ships <laughs> okay I want to make it a fast Y-Wing. So what have we got here? Rotary cannon. That's the one we want. Heavy rotary cannon. Okay, let's do just normal rotary cannon. Goliath missile and proton bomb. Yes. Counterburst, particle, hull. Okay, we don't have one that makes it go fast just yet. I think we'll keep the standard one on. Time to go! Let's go! Time to launch. Let's get up into the stars. So, uh, with the Empire eavesdropping on New Republic comms, do you think Teresa Carroll overheard? Everything. She only cares about oh her my star god, you can look around the cockpit. Oh, sure, sure, still. <laughs> oblivion, cool, right? man, this is epic. For so this is what VR, I battle assume, battle is like. For no other reason. Look at that targeting reticle thing. Targeting, what do you call it? Oh, this is so cool. And I can still fly like this, yep. But I can't you can turn the ship. Y Wing is quite slow in comparison to the other ships, to be honest. On approach. It's quite an interesting idea, yeah, isn't it? For a ship. Whoa, God. I think I just got caught in that Republic, ship's huh? shields. <laughs> it's quite an interesting idea building the Starhawk out of repurposed yeah, Imperial ships. Like it's quite uh, unique, isn't it? Sensors. Oh, I followed Frisk, my bad. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're about to bomb. Good, you're almost there. On my mark. Yep. It's bombs away. Sweet. Oh man, I love the Y Wings. Give me old 2005 Battlefront True vibes. It's actually just playing some of that the other day. Battlefront 2 Remastered Project. They just released a new space... Space, uh, space pack. You can play all the different space maps, updated, remastered. Really cool. New ships included, new pl new, uh... Cockpit interiors. 
out of ammo. Oh, here we go. Get, keep getting resupplied, though. Just want to see what happens if you completely destroy this communications array thing. Oh. Am I hitting the wrong thing or what? Oh, there. Okay. Cool. Let's go in there. Precision bombing. Bombs are fired straight down from you, so you must orient yourself over the target. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I'm gonna roll on my side. That's awesome. And then. Amazing. So, this is their solution to doing the trench run. <laughs> Let's get there. Just gotta find it first. Oop. Oop. <laughs> if we survive, if we survive long enough to get there. <laughs> Couldn't have possibly bumped into more stuff. Oh, shoot. Sweet. We defended it. Alright, it's great. They won't come after the Corvette again. Vanguard 5, we need you at the vent. Okay, trying to regroup here. Let's get to this position. Haha. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hopefully we're gonna do some bombing inside here as well. Oh. Got an auto turrets. It's like Phantom Menace. Anakin entering. Well, or like you Return of the Jedi, I guess. Again, Anakin. The explodes, so oh. oh man, in every pole on the way in. War is destroyed. Now we're gonna get out of here. Oh man, it's like the Death Star. <laughs> so cool. Oh man, we're gonna make it. Oh, that's tight. Oh, that was so close. What a moment. That would have been amazing in VR. <laughs> That's exactly the type of Star Wars experience I want. Where's the rebirth point? Yep. Okay, sweet. Boom. Love it. So good. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Where is that gonk droid? And why can't I interact with it? <sighs> Can I contribute to any of these conversations at any time? I also like that the gonk droid is also always standing behind Frisk. It's a good little, little addition. Good little thing to notice. Oh, that's an awesome nebula out there. Damn, that looks cool. Okay, what's going on in the briefing room? You're still here. Hey, bro. What's going on? We should get started. <laughs> Okay, we should get started. Let's do it. First, congratulations. Because you captured the Star Destroyer Victorum, our Starhawk prototype has been completed ahead of schedule. Oh, sweet, it's ready. But the Empire does not know that. They believe it's still under construction. Teresa Carroll will keep hunting Project Starhawk until it's destroyed. And we've been assigned to stop her. So, using that decoy message I sent, we're going to set up an ambush. The false intel stated that you're protecting a shipment of magnite crystals, essential to completing the Starhawk. With this bait, we'll draw Teresa and the Overseer deep into the Xavian Abyss, a highly volatile area of space. Here is where we set our trap. Don't worry about the convoy. It's empty and droid piloted. However, that does mean you'll need to clear any obstructions from its path. Vanguard, I want you to defend that convoy with everything you've got. We need to make this look good. Your destination is this bottleneck. There, the Starhawk will be waiting to disable the Overseer. And hopefully, capture Teresa. Now, it might sound simple, but nothing is simple in the Xavian Abyss. Brace yourselves. Sweet. I can't wait, first of all, to see the Starhawk in action, and then to see the Xavian Abyss. That's that place you might have seen with all the lightning and other crazy effects happening. And where are you at? Hey! Oh, it's the guy with the gray hair. <laughs> Pretending to talk. He looks like a droid as well. That's funny. They're just background details. <laughs> All right. Prepare for launch. Let's do it. Why we... Oh my gosh, we actually get to choose. Okay. I want to go A-Wing. 
my favorite. Rapid fire. Yes, for sure. We got the repair kit on. Okay, let's do it. I want the one with the acceleration. Let's get out of here. What the heck? Didn't I choose the A-Wing? <laughs> Why am I flying in that? <laughs> I thought I chose the A-Wing. What just happened? I'd better be flying an A-Wing. Oh my god, I chose the wrong one. Wow. Oh well. As you can see, I wasn't exaggerating about the dangers of this Damn. Abyss. This is cool though. Yeah. Look at that lightning. And we got word that Teresa Carroll has taken the bait. Her flagship overseer is closing in. Man, I can't Come wait for fleet God. battles in this. This Protect is gonna be epic. Convoy. This is so cool being in this unstable galaxy place here. Galaxy place. Come on. <laughs> This Y-Wing is tearing him apart. Glad I chose the Y-Wing now. <laughs> Accidentally. Oh my god, it is a Vanator. Wow. Oh. This is so cool. Wow. What's left of one anyway? That's incredible. I wonder if there's any clones floating in space here. That'd be scary. Damn, that is so cool. <laughs> okay, destroy the asteroids, not the <laughs> Star Destroyer. <laughs> okay. The Trend Ocean Sweat? Is that a thing? <laughs> so he's got a cold sweat on his neck. Oh, this is cool. Okay, where are they at? Here we go. No worries. Okay, we've got more Imperials coming in here. I love that burst weapon, the burst fire. Fires multiple rockets if there's enemies inbound. Wow, that's awesome. Evading missiles. <laughs> Such a stunning map. Wow. Just overwhelmed by the amount of color. Explosion, starfighters, the vibrant crystals in the nebula. And I just want to play more and more in this. This is seriously has to be one of the favorite, best maps in the game. This is just ridiculously overwhelming. Tractor beam charge. Okay, sweet. Oh, there it is. There's the Starhawk. Let's go have a look. Damn. That's so cool. There it is. Oh crap. I'm gonna get back to battle. There's rock in the way. <laughs> oh, I'm in the storm. <laughs> so if you actually go outside of it, you get caught in the storm. Okay, here we go. Reach the Starhawk. Oh, it's so unstable, the amount of stuff that's going on around here. Oh, here we go. Major cutscene right now. Yep, it's the one from the trailer. The scan worked, Titan. That convoy's Nava computer had the sector and system we've been looking for. We've got them right where we want them. Oh, well. <laughs> What's it going to do? It's going to draw them into the asteroids? That's too epic. It's too big. Man. <laughs> it's gonna switch off. No way. What if it jumps a light speed? Now it can't. Oh boy. Return to the overseer for immediate hyperspace jump. We can't jump that fast. We could end up in the middle of a star or worse. Stay and we die for sure. Move! Are we gonna switch to the Imperials now? That'd be epic. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's going down. Damn. Here we go. Oh. Wow. There's no way they survived, right? They could have ended up anywhere. Well, we know the Starhawk works. 
tossed the overseer around like a loath rat. Good. <laughs> Lousy Imperials deserve payback with interest. Shall we just build a Death Star and get it over with? Please, no. Come on, Grace. We're still the good guys. Anyhow, we won, right? Wherever they jumped, no ship's coming back from that. Let's hope so. Oh, this is eerie, man. What's about to happen? Wow. What a mission. Absolutely stunning. Loved it. That was the best so far. So good. Loving it. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Where are we? Alpha Rem. Remetic system. Grid M42. Scramble fire crews. Get a distress call to the nearest Imperial station. Aha! It, uh, there's an old munitions depot in this system, Captain. Run by a Colonel Grawl. Must be our lucky day. Make the call. I can't believe they survived that. This isn't over. Wow, so now they're about to hit back. So, you jump to my territory, uninvited, then demand my supplies? Colonel Grawl. The Starhawk project is within our grasp. All I need is repairs and proper munitions. No. The Emperor assigned me to this depot. I decide how its resources are used. As of this moment, that includes your Star Destroyer. Consider yourself reassigned. The Overseer was sent on this mission by Admiral Sloan herself. Admiral Sloan isn't here, Captain. I have rebel guerrillas to deal with. And now, so do you. Out. He wants us to fight rebels. All right. We'll protect his depot. And if his munitions get lost in the crossfire, well, lucky for us. Ma'am, regulations specifically forbid this. I will not be beaten by vanguard, grandstanding imbeciles, or anyone else. Please, no judgment. It's just fine. Call in Titan Squadron. Now. This is getting heavy. I feel like there's some real consequences involved now. Good like call. the story's finally kind of picking up a bit and it's actually got me and, you know, taken me in and showing me a bit more of what its potential is and why it's so, you know... I mean, it's just gone big scale. And the fact that there's now basically infighting within the Empire, the fact that the Empire are now looking to basically sabotage one another and, you know, use each other's resources, that to me is where this gets really interesting. And that's what I want to see more of as we progress. Okay, nothing to do or we'll see here, I think. Let's head inside. See what's going on here. Get straight into the briefing. What's doing? What do you say? What do you be? Two Imperial officers coming in. What do they do? They come in and then they leave? Oh, they walk through there. That's cool. Okay. I don't know why I'm watching this. <laughs> Local rebel forces are preparing to attack Colonel Grounds munitions depot. You'll patrol the area in preparation for the attack and keep the depot safe. Growl is a fool, but his assets belong to the Empire. Therefore, they belong to us. During your patrol, Titan III will secretly search the station, its freighters, and cargo shuttles for Viradium. This explosive material will be a valuable tool against the Starhawk. Tag the Viradium, and LT-514 will retrieve cool. it remotely. Okay. While Growl is kept busy by the rebel attack, escort the Viradium to the Overseer for safekeeping. According to the Colonel, these three towers hold large munition stockpiles and will be the rebels' priority targets. It's a powder keg. If we lose the towers, we lose the depot, and the overseer will be defenseless. Remember, as long as repairs are still underway, we can't afford to engage the Republic. Secure the Viradium. 
halt the rebel assault, and then we can leave the Remetic system. You're on your own, Titan Squadron. Let's Sweet, do let's right. do it. Okay. Okay, I don't understand how you relearn breathing. How is that a thing? If you stop breathing, you die. You can't relearn how to breathe, right? Unless they artificially make you breathe somehow. Is that a possibility? Interesting, interesting, interesting. I do not know the answer to that question. What are you guys doing over there? Okay, time to go. Prepare for launch. Captain Carroll has assigned you oh, sweet. Intercept. I love the interceptors. Rapid fire. Ion. Let's keep the rapid fire. I prefer rockets, man. <laughs> we'll try the mines. We'll try the mines for once. Anti-starfighter missile. That's fine. Countermeasures. That's fine. Hull. What do we want? Okay, let's do it. Gotta find that beradium, you know? Valuable stuff. Alright, I'm with Shen, my favorite. My main coughing... Cyborg man. Darth Vader stormtrooper. Darth Vader without the force. How do we know he's not just going to pass out halfway through a mission because he has a coughing fit? He gets something stuck in his throat. That's what I don't like about this. It's, you know, a bit worried flying with Shen, bro. Seems like you're on your last legs. Here we go. Some enemies coming in. Yep, there they are. Little specks of light on the horizon. Weapons. Okay, gonna destroy more of these enemy fighters before they get that tower destroyed. Don't want them destroying our precious beradium. No more Corvette. Ready? Three, two, one. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Man, our squadron is absolutely tearing them apart. This is so fun. Okay, we'll there you go, they're again. leaving. Titan Squadron, LT-514 will remote pilot the cargo ships to the Overseer. Reach. Yeah, let's go. Oh, thanks for the resupply. Escort, let's go. Siege. Follow you around wherever you need to go, I'll be there. Focus Here we go, we've got more rebels incoming. We'll the fools, did they not know? We were here to destroy them. Where are we? Let's go. Escort. Whoop. <laughs> okay, where are those A-wings at? I need to find myself another A-wing. Like that one. Oh, we're actually in the tunnel now. This is cool. Okay, let's just hover here for a sec. Are there actually any A-wings coming in here? It doesn't seem like it, hey. Does not seem like it, but they're coming on the outside. Oh, they're actually taking this one down. Just working on it. I am loving this TIE Interceptor though. Man, this is my style of flying. Fast, speedy, going in and out of... Oh, going in and out of different trenches and compartments and all those other things. Loving it. And we're going in. I think we made it. Sweet. <laughs> we just went through the side. <laughs> it's not a clean, clean transition, clean entrance. Here we go. Let's see if this one goes in cleanly. Yes, but it's a quick and then it just disappears. It's a very quick landing, we don't you think? Everything we need to annihilate the rebel base, their Starhawk, and Lyndon Javes. Look at that planet down there. It's cool. Incoming. Oh, more of them. Oh, absolutely getting hammered. The sound it's making, man. It's so good. <laughs> Goodbye, my friends. <laughs> so powerful. Ridiculous. This is cool, though. In fighting. I really like this. I like this story angle. Another successful mission, pilots, and we're back. Okay, where are we going to next? We're going to inspect the ship. I'm looking for my little mouse droid once again. Hey, there you are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my favorite part of all this is the mouse droid. Let's head to briefing. 
see what's going on inside. Our victory is nearly at hand. We have the location up in the Deary dockyards, and the Overseer is almost back to full strength. Our only obstacle now is Vanguard Squadron. I won't let them catch us off guard. Not again. No, never again. Let's do Admiral this. Sloan has a plan to draw Vanguard Squadron and other defenders away from the Nadiri dockyards. The Admiral has ordered Titan Squadron to play a part, and she wants you to take the lead for this mission. Sweet, yes, yeah, squad leader. I trust Admiral Sloan's decision. You've proven yourself capable many times over. Just don't let it go to your head. It would be a pity if you turned out like Colonel Grell. Definitely not, but I will use my ace piloting skills to outmaneuver all of those rebel scum. No ego involved whatsoever. All right, let's look at the briefing. Radium munitions give us the firepower to take on the Starhawk, but the situation isn't that simple. The Nadiri dockyards are protected by a massive rebel fleet. We cannot engage the Starhawk until it is vulnerable. Admiral Sloan's strategy is simple. Lure the Republic fleet away from Nadiri with simultaneous attacks on enemy targets across the galaxy. We've been assigned to attack Moncala. We don't have the numbers for a pitched battle, so you will have to strike fast. Okay, got it. Your mission is to sow chaos through multiple attacks, moving quickly. These refueling pods are your first target. Oh, sweet. We get to attack Next, these. Yes, nice. Transports and any medical frigates supporting them. <laughs> this will certainly draw out Admiral Squadron who are defending Moncala. Stay ahead of them if you can. Where have I heard of Anvil Squadron before? Responsibility. You will lead the assault. Make this fast and brutal. They've earned it. Can't wait to get into this, man. This is going to be epic. Let's do it. Okay, so you two are heading off. Is she in trouble then? Is something going to happen in the end where she actually gets screwed over because she went, you know, she did kind of like a 180 on that Grom guy and sabotaged him? looking forward to seeing what happens there possibly nothing but hey shen my man he's back how's that cough yeah <laughs> i'm starting to think shen isn't such a good pilot hey he keeps getting himself into trouble Do you ever talk about anything but your body, man? Hey! <laughs> yeah. I wonder why, too. Man, if I, you know... I don't know if I'm scared of him, hey. He's more just like a friendly... Friendly cyborg. So cool. Oh. We're docking, are we? Oh, okay, we're jumping the light speed. That's cool. Far out. Some of these cutscene cinematics are so good. Hey, it's really showing the vastness of space and, you know, seeing all the different colored galaxies and there's a lot going on. Lots to look at. Oh, they're taking off. So they leave. It's just us. One of the Republic's key shipyards. So quiet. Looking around. Oh, I have a window in the back. It's cool. Oh, this is so cool. Wow, what a mission. I'm loving this so far. So simple, just destroying these pods. Okay, that one's already destroyed. Yep, they're lighting that one up too. Sweet. Can we destroy one and it destroys the rest? I wonder. Here we go. Incoming enemies. This is where the fun begins. Okay, where's that U-Wing? I want to take down the U-Wing. Yes, please. You're mine. Oh. He's dodging that rocket. Actually doing a decent job of it as well. Far out. Okay. Where are you at? Oh, they're so slow, those ships. Why am I struggling so much to hit this guy? 
There we go. No more Ewing. This is the best, man. I love this. It's so good. Like, I feel like they've done such a good job with the actual gameplay itself. Really satisfying. The drift mechanic works so well. I feel like I'm in complete control of the Starfighter. I actually can't wait to try this with Hotaz as well. I think that'll bring a much more unique experience. Whoa! <laughs> I think we'll destroy the rest of them. Why not just get rid of them all? Hey, just absolutely tear through every single one. I think that's what we want to do. I like to play the Ruthless Empire card, you know? I feel like that's more fun. I feel like that's befitting of the characters. That's who we want to be. Okay, we're going to face this way, do we? <laughs> oh, yes. Now we're heading to the Nebulon. The medical frigate. Is that medical frigate. There's no way this thing is surviving. Wow. It's going to be brutal. Do they even have cannons defending it? It's taking a beating. <laughs> wow. So much fun. No more turrets. There it goes. Damn. Wow. <laughs> no problem. It's so much fun. Jeez. That type of experience of just, yeah, being in a squadron and absolutely dominating an enemy. Just raining down pain on them. Just feels so brutal. Okay. What's that? Just feels like absolutely like a decisive, brutal. Oh, here we go. Interesting. That's not a bad idea. Okay, let's turn this thing around. So yeah, this is teaching us now. I'm assuming how to destroy capital ships. Basically, is what it's doing. So it's saying attack the bottom first for the shields. Is that correct? I mean, I think I'm attacking the right sections. Let me have a look. Yeah, okay, it's these two. Yeah, for sure. Oh, cool. Okay, so I can actually do that. So fly target attack is flagship systems. So you can actually target specific systems on the ship. That's great. That's exactly what I want. There we go. Objectives. Oh, okay, so because we've destroyed all of its subsystems, so now you got to switch it back. That makes sense. Damn, dude. First capital ship taken down in the story. Epic. Damn. Absolutely epic. Loved it. Such a good mission. Absolutely getting to destroy the capital ship. So much fun. Okay. You want to chat, Soul? Always telling me you want to talk. You know, hey. The hero who led the scouring of Moncala. That's the sort of act oh, yeah. that gets people's Thanks. attention. Sounds good. Sounds good. Let's do that. I don't think there's anything else to do around here. I'm just gonna look for my boy. My boy. <laughs> it's been a lot. It's been fun every time. Okay, let's get inside. See what's going on in here. Oh my god, what a system. That looks like an, a painting on the wall. It doesn't look Our real. Is that for real? Is that actually where we are right now? Okay. Oh, no way. Are we actually going to get to destroy it? To help secure our victory. Huh. But you, Titan Squadron, will lead the strike against the Starhawk. If New Republic patrols and perimeter defenses intercept you on approach... Show them no mercy. Before we begin our Baradium assault, you must bring down the dockyard's shields. We've discovered shield generators at these locations. Destroy them all, and the Overseer's bombardment will begin. After the shield generators are down, Titan III will return to the Overseer to acquire Baradium-enhanced munitions. This is where we show our true strength. Immobilize the Starhawk with Baradium. 
do not stop until its hyperdrive is destroyed. I want that ship helpless when I deliver the killing blow. Let's make Admiral Sloan proud. Sounds good. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to talk to LT514 first. What's going on, my man? I'm honestly starting to get a lot more used to the direct talking characters. The fact that my character doesn't really speak and I'm just being spoken to. It starts to feel normal the more you do it. So now it's time to actually go in there and wreak havoc. Interesting. This is going to be epic. This is like... This feels like it could be one of the final battles then, if not the last one. Because they just taught, you know, we just took down a capital ship. Really curious to see how this all ends. Who's going to survive? Who's going to live? It feels like everyone's going to survive at the moment, but... Yeah, I can't see him retiring on a beach, to be honest. <laughs> but I don't understand. So I've just taken over the, like, you know, as squad leader. And he's not even pissed about it. Like, he's not even upset. He's just cool. He's like, yeah, you deserve it, man. Good job. You deserve to be squad leader. Is that because he's retiring, perhaps, that he doesn't care? But I would have figured, you know, you know there'd be some ego the issues hole. going on there, like and he'd be disappointed. Even the dockyards. It represents a strike at everything this new republic represents. What they think they gained at Endor. New republic. Even the name's a joke. The republic has never been anything but 10,000 squabbling voices. Though after this, they'll be screaming in unison. Let's show the new Republic for the sham it really is. Hmm. Okay, time to crush the new Republic. Let's do it. Where's my mouse at? Can't see him tonight. He's not here. It's all good. All good. Okay, prepare for launch. We're doing bomber today. Your loadout is looking good. It'll be even better once we're oh, here good. to give you okay. explosive. So we've outfitted our bomber to be quite agile, but it has the beam cannon, which we haven't used yet, so I'm really looking forward to giving that a go. I'm pretty sure you can't actually turn when you're using the beam cannon because it's such a powerful weapon. But it'll be interesting to see what it, how it works, what it's like. Oh, we're heading to the Nadiri dockyards as well. Can't believe what, the Star Destroyer's just parked there? Man, this is an epic approach we're making here. <laughs> okay, this is great. Oh, too close that time. Okay. Seriously, though, gotta try and use this beam cannon. This approach is epic, though. We're taking out all their defenses as we're getting closer. Where is that final missile launcher? Must have missed it on the way in. That's the last X Wing. There it is, missile launcher. Okay, it's on the other side of here. Oh, I can see it launching missiles there. Okay. Let's try getting hit on it. Here we go. No problem. Goodbye. Oh, that's not true. <laughs> okay, this is intense. I love that missile. It takes out three things all at once. Where the heck are they? Where is this hangar? Is this a shield generator on the hangar, or are we actually destroying the hangar itself? It's quite a confusing map, isn't it? With all these, um, you know, different entrances and ways of kind of getting around. It's got a lot of nooks and crannies that aren't really... Okay, all shield generators are done for. I hope all their rebels got out of there in time. <laughs> actually, I don't, because, you know, they're the rebels. I feel like it's safer to attack them from behind, because they don't really have a, a laser here, do they? Evac transports as well. They're evacuating the base. That's crazy. The scale of this, man. This is epic. Let's destroy the evacs as well. <laughs> this is absolutely brutal. The rebels are trying to escape. We're destroying their transport ships. And now we're going to destroy their... Like, just, man. The amount of people that would have just died, right? Like, they don't stand a chance. We're not even giving them the chance. Oh, so cool flying through those explosions like that. Man, this is epic. Oh. <laughs> and then I drive directly into it. <laughs> okay. So they're not going anywhere. Starhawk engines and hyperdrive systems are severely damaged. 
It won't be jumping anywhere. I'm not done yet. Okay, here we go. Cutscene now. Titan, lead another part of the dockyards. Oh man, they're going in to finish the thing off. Is Hera gonna die? There's no way they're gonna kill Hera in this game, right? But you weren't here. Is there anyone you won't turn your back on? Oh, the final blow. Oh, no way, MC75. <laughs> it took the hit. What? If there's anything you want to say. Oh man, that was badass. Taking the hit for it. Fire on that ship. Damn. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Oh, there goes someone who is that. Was that one of ours? Is her ego going to play into this now? Is she not going to want to leave? She's going to... She wants to fight them here and now and actually take them on. This is epic. Wow. Okay. I can't believe she actually wants to take them on and, you know, finish this off, basically. This is epic. Okay. I can't believe... What? So we're about to attack the Rebel fleet once again. Two capital ships. They've got both the Starhawk and the MC-75 there. It's getting really dramatic now really picked up we had them. they were in our sights and captain carol just let them go what could she do with our missile guidance scrambled we could have done something now Lyndon james and vanguard squadron are laughing at us they're running scared dragged down by an engine fleet if anyone's laughing it's captain carol let's just get to the briefing room Okay, so we're briefing for the mission to go in and actually attack them. Hey there, little mouse droid! <laughs> My buddy's back! The Nadiri dockyards are burning. Their Starhawk flees before us. Linden and Vanguard are within our reach. Vengeance is sweet, isn't it? For sure. But this is no time to get complacent. I've waited too long to let Linden slip away again. You see, it is becoming personal. Admiral Sloan is adamant that the Starhawk be destroyed, but we cannot engage it directly. The tractor beam is too powerful. Yes, the tractor Instead, beam is too powerful. We must force them into the Ringali Nebula. Oh, cool. There, Vanguard and their battleship will be erased from history. How are we going to force them there, though? Our Empire has called us to serve. We cannot fail. Okay. So how are we going to go about doing that? That's what I want to know. Let's get into Our it. Our enemy is on the run. You have done well, Titan Squadron. Okay, huge fleet. But in order to stop them, I need you to break off from the Overseer and fly ahead of the enemy fleet to set a trap. Okay. LT-514's calculations indicate that the remains of the Nadiri fleet is attempting to reach the New Republic capital of Chandrala. To do so, they must navigate the junkyard of scrapped Imperial ships they've been using to build that monstrous Starhawk. Poetic, <laughs> isn't it? We've detected several reactor cores in the junkyard. Titan, fly ahead of their fleet and use the cores to create a minefield on their path. Active cores will detonate when shot and devastate any ships nearby. That includes you. Wield this advantage cautiously. Destroy any Republic starfighters attempting to scout the dangers of the debris field. Your ties alone may struggle against the fleet's larger ships. Detonate the cores to take them out. That sounds epic. So we're basically All letting... Plan. A Starhawk will either be destroyed in your minefield or be forced to divert into the deadly Ringali Nebula. Cool. Either way, we win. So we're basically going to basically going to set off a bunch of charges which are going to explode and cause damage to the larger capital ships and that's how we'll deal with them i think i'm going to stick with the bomber much more my style i like the multi-lock missile and 
Do I need a shield? Really? I mean, I'm a bomber and I've got... Nah, don't need shields. Why would I need shields? Acceleration and movability and boost rate. That's it. Let's do it. Okay, let's get into the sky. We haven't played as the Rebels in a while. We haven't been on the New Republic side in quite a while now. So I'm curious if after this mission, because this feels like it's coming to a big conclusion, if after this we're going to switch over. Damn, look at the Starhawk. It's on fire. That's so cool. Okay. Oh, this place looks awesome. Okay, where are we off to? If I spin, does my squadron? They do. They spin with me. That's cool. <laughs> I wonder if there are any other Clone Wars ships in here as well. The enemy is Such a is cool expected. looking nebula though. I love how each That's different map has a really force. distinct different colour. Each one looks incredibly different and unique. I think that's going to make multiplayer much more memorable. Whoops! <laughs> oh boy, they're super explosive. My bad. <laughs> What a way to end it. <laughs> I love those multi... Oh, crap. Explosives. Stay away from them. I'm worried that my targeting will automatically accidentally target one of those. That'd be scary. Are we getting anywhere with this? <laughs> I feel like I missed a couple. Oh, there you go. It comes up with detonate on top. Okay, gonna keep an eye out for that. Here we go, we're just going to destroy these normally then with our rockets. I guess the other, the cores did do some damage, but not as much as I would have liked to be honest. Oh, here we go. There's a couple more cores here, let's wait till they get up there I reckon. How close are we? Pretty close. Wait for the detonate. I don't, I can't believe they're just fly, driving through the trap, I guess they can't see the cores, but that's, you know, damn. We've wasted so many Corellian Corvettes in this campaign. There's been so many to destroy. I kind of want to, you know, be able to use them. Definitely. As a as the Starhawk flies through anyway, that'd be amazing. But we'll see what happens. Okay, all the cores are scanned. Alright, now let's get on some of these Starfighters. One more Starfighter. Nope. Nope, they're all gone. Okay, sweet. We've got the cores, we're good to go. More corvettes incoming, so I'm assuming we'll use the cores to destroy them. Yes, and ambush them, that's right. Alright, where are they at? There's one here, let's detonate the core. We're gonna get the chance to? Oh, up here. For sure. We don't need to. There you go, no problem. Taking heavy fire from down there. Okay, we're gonna wait for this nebulon to come through and see if we can actually get a proper hit on it. See if we can actually get it when it's close to the cores. I feel like there's, yep, there's one there. So as soon as it gets close to that, I'm just taking a lot of damage. It's hit me pretty hard. It'd be good to take out some of its turrets, actually. There you go. Oh, let's hit that. Okay, shields are down. It's exactly what we wanted. Let me see if I can swoop in here and actually disable some of its turrets. So now we just have to detonate this, this cluster. Oh, this is going to be epic. Where's the Nebulon? Okay, as soon as it comes through there, we're going to detonate that cluster of cores. It's absolutely going to get floored. This is going to be dramatic. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm going to hit the explosives. Oh my god, it's going to be huge. <laughs> there it goes. Epic. Wow. Ridiculously dramatic. Can you imagine being in one of those X-Wings and seeing that happen next to you as you're flying past? I seriously can't believe how many, you know, how many people we're killing. This is ridiculous. The amount of people that are dying on board these ships is monstrous. Okay, so we got the Nebulon B, which has just been taken down. But we're going Vanguard Squadron to the MC-75. Oh wait, no, that's the Starhawk, my bad. Oh, finally, we made it inside, okay. I can talk, Keo. Hey, how's it going? It's, what are you up to? Ardo asked if I saw a way through that minefield Titan setup. 
But no matter what path we took, we'd lose the fleet. I know it. So the commander took Ardo's second choice. We're heading into the Ringali Nebula. No long distance comms, sensors are almost dark. It's a gamble, but it's better than no chance at all. When those missiles hit us back at the dockyards, I thought the Temperance was done for. Full shields, and they still almost tore us apart. But we got Teresa and Titan Squadron to chase us, instead of destroying Nadiri for good. That's what matters. Our next steps are unclear, like walking into fog. Better get to the briefing room. Okay. Where is my little gonk droid at? Where's my gonk hat? Sweet, so we're back on the rebel side. Let me speak plainly, Vanguard Squadron. We're in trouble. We have the overseer behind us, and Imperial reinforcements moving to cut us off. There's no way we'll fend them off. We need to send a distress call to our allies in the New Republic and hope they can reach us in time. The problem is, we're wounded, outnumbered, and the Ringali Nebula is already disrupting our long distance communications. Luckily, General Sindole has located an old broadcast hub that once orbited a nearby moon called Galatan. If we restore the Galatan broadcast hub, we can send a distress signal to New Republic forces outside the nebula. Chief Mechanic Zarelda Sage will lead a repair team to do just that. She'll also locate communication satellites in the area to boost our distress signal. The more active comsats we have, the stronger our transmission will be. Teresa surely knows this too. We can suffer minor losses with the comsats. The more we have working, the faster we can signal Tendrilla for help. The Empire's fighters must not destroy the broadcast hub. We lose that. We won't survive. Keep Zarelda and the Comsat safe. I'll call for aid as soon as you get the signal strength high enough. From there, all we can do is wait and hope. Let's talk to Otto and Hera. So Hera has survived. She's this won't work. Vanguard Squadron has handled dangerous assignments before and performed brilliantly. Yes, they have. A deadly nebula on one side and a crumbling moon on the other. That gives us a slim margin of error. It's this or we come up with something more drastic. You know me, Ardo. There's always another way. Trust me, General, I'm aware. I'm just letting you know that my crew is feeling the strain. Noted. But I trust my people, you included, to make this happen. I'm sorry, not now. <laughs> it's so weird. The conversation's over. Why are you telling me sorry, not now? I listened to the whole thing. Oh, that's such a cool shot. Still in... Is this the Ringali Nebula still? I don't remember. Whoa, okay, different interior here. Let's have a little look around. Okay, Vanguard. The broadcast hub is close. Oh, I sweet. Still in one piece. Look what the Nebula's done to that moon. I dread what no it droid here ships. either. We could have a cargo... We could be back in the cargo in the section at the back. We're dead in the minefield. Oh, there you See, go. Zarelda gets it. That's cool. Bit scary, the fact that we're escorting a. Uh, whoops! Oh god, I'm on fire. Hey, it looks like the broadcast hub works. <laughs> it works, but the system is a wreck. I'm gonna need some time to get all the comsets back online. I think it's a bit scary that we're literally escorting a Krellian cruiser, Krellian Corvette, considering the amount we've destroyed it playing as the we're Empire. Oh, here we go. I'm in formation. You can deploy turret mines here at objective you want to defend. They will automatically fire lasers at nearby enemies until they run out of power. That's exactly what I want to do. So I'm just going to put a few turrets around here. Press R B to deploy a mine. It's not recharged yet. It's quite different flying as a U-wing, isn't it? Flying using the um, the fact it has different weapons. It's much more focused on support than attack. I mean, we're using ion weapons as well as the support. Like, they're really setting you up here as 
I mean, the whole campaign itself is a tutorial. Like, it's one long, drawn-out tutorial, slowly teaching you how to fly each ship. Ewing, obviously, big support ship, heavily focused on shielding your allies, resupplying them, and also dropping mines and uh, auto turrets, which is fun. I wonder if other ships have this attachment as well. I don't remember. I think maybe the A-Wing might have the auto turret one. That can't be right, can it? be like a way out you'll get to choose which survives which squadron survives perhaps you'll get to choose which one you fly as but yeah i kind of want no one's died yet apart from all these random you know people on all these ships we've destroyed so i really want to see someone needs to go down at the end of this if the story is going to be meaningful you know what i mean Wedge didn't have much in his appearance, either did he? He was in it for very briefly, just like a little cameo. Oh, that's interesting. Wow, so they've abandoned the Starhawk. Okay. We can't abandon it. We can lose our Starhawk prototype, but not the people who built it. You're gonna help them escape. How was? The Temperance is hyperdrive is busted. They're working on it. But don't worry. I'll buy you enough time. <laughs> I can't believe he's back in his Starfighter uniform. He's gonna fly. This is crazy. He's getting back in the sky. What? Surely... Oh, there was a little pod racer there. Did you see that? <laughs> Surely he's going to his death. Surely, like... If someone has to die, it's going to be him. He's the mentor figure. He's the older character. And he hasn't flown in who knows how long. I feel like this could be the turning point. This could be his end. Today, I feel honored to join the fight. Sir, you can't. Have faith, Kyo. Besides, if there's one person who can keep Jurassic's attention, it's me. I need you to lead our defenders. The future of Project Starhawk. Maybe the New Republic itself is in your hands. All due respect, sir. You won't last a second out there alone. Poor. Alone? No. But thanks to you, I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. Anvil Squadron. Message. Sweet. We're here to help. Good luck, Vanguard. And may the Force be with you. I can't believe this. This is epic. Can't believe he's in a Starfighter now and he's gonna also join the battle. Wow. Wait, so... Okay. That was the end of that mission. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna save that there. Start a new one right now. Okay, let's continue. Switching back to Imperials. Oh my god, are we gonna have to kill him? We're going to get to kill Lyndon Jeeves. Are you for real? Okay. There you are. Hey, Gray. When I was a police officer on Parkella, I'd spend weeks fighting red tape to arrest a racketeer or a slaver gang. People who were obviously guilty. I enlisted with the Empire because it gave me the power to do what was necessary. Deliver justice to the galaxy. Flying ties is more dangerous than chasing crooks. Every time I fly out of this hangar, I know it could be my last. But I come back. Time and again. I'm so tired of arguments about Imperial morality. I've heard pilots question our empire. They wonder if our methods were right. But they always forget one thing. The simple fact is this. We have the power, so we have determined what is right. Damn. When you're out there, never forget that you get to decide who lives and who dies. You've earned that power. Let's go. The captain is waiting. It's quite a twisted, uh, twisted way of looking at things. You get to decide who lives and who dies. As in, you get to kill or be killed, basically, is what he's saying, right? Mouse droid! <laughs> Every time, man. Loving it. Brief in the room, let's go back inside. We've done it. With Vanguard Squadron backed into a corner, Lyndon Javes has made his last mistake. 
We have confirmation that Lyndon has joined the fray. That's not all. He's leading the same rebel squadron we decimated at Moncala. This is a calculated move. Lyndon wants me to do something reckless. He thinks he knows me. But he's wrong. We're not taking this very personally, my goodness. Titan Squadron will focus on our real target. The Star Which Hall. is? Admiral Sloan is counting on us. I wish I could deal with Lyndon personally. But a commander's true weapon is a squadron, not a starfighter. Go. Complete your mission. And if you get Lyndon in your sights, strike him down once and for all. Damn. So this is going to be the mission where we either kill Lyndon or are killed by Lyndon. I'm assuming. This is epic. Okay. This is it, Titan Squadron. Our What's going to happen? Is at hand. The Temperance has broken off from the Rebel fleet, but no matter. Our focus is the Starhawk. And thanks to the reinforcements from Admiral Sloan, we now have it surrounded. The Starhawk suffered catastrophic damage from our Baradium assault and has had no opportunity for repairs. If I'm correct, a careful strike to the ship's tractor beam core should turn it into a floating time bomb. Oh, no way. The Starhawk will not be easy. The rebels managed to call in reinforcements of their own. Anvil Squadron, to be precise. Lyndon Javes is handling Anvil Squadron's tactics personally. Anvil took heavy losses at Moncala. But they still have starfighters and a grudge. Destroy them. They're also fielding a Nebulon B frigate. We have a raider on hand to assist you. Once you reach cool. the Starhawk, you must breach its armor to attack the core. Scans indicate there's an undetonated Baradium missile lodged somewhere in the Starhawk's hull. Exploit that. With the hull breached, a single fighter can fly inside the Starhawk to attack its tractor beam core. We have no idea what to expect on the inside. Do what you must to start a core overload and then escape to the Overseer while there's still time. All our work and sacrifice has led to this, Titan. Do not let Lyndon Javes stop you now. So we're literally going to do the trench run inside the Starhawk. We're flying into the Starhawk to do the trench run. I can't wait. Let's do it. That's the thing with these Imperials. You know, you impress them a couple times and you make one silly mistake and you get force choked to death. It's the way it goes. It's the Imperial it. way. Destroying that Starhawk makes us heroes. And heroes have influence. A smart person could parlay that influence. Become Admiral Sloan's aide, perhaps. Once in the heart of Imperial power, you can guide it. From there, anything's possible. You're trying to become a senator. A new senate. Here we go, now, the senate. We have to do is win. She is the senate. Oh, don't worry. I'm not losing sight of what we must do. But this is about more than ending a war. A of course it is. For the it's about you becoming Beyond Chancellor Death Palpatine point two, two point oh. <laughs> that is what I'm fighting for. Absolutely. Whatever you're fighting for, remember it today. Thank you. I'm fighting to have fun. But yes, thank you. <laughs> Shoot rebel scum. That's that's my objective. Okay, where's my little mousey at? First thing I see. Hey, man. He's not afraid today. Hey, just can't stop to say hi. That's cool. Shen, my man, what have you been up to? How's it going? What are you doing? Didn't stop at Andor. He knows. He's been around long enough to know. Destroyed, rises again. Did you did you fight in the Clone Wars? Were you actually a clone? They need soldiers, pilots. Always have. Always will. Rebels or Republic. We know our duty. Take strength in that. You fly. Cool. I want him to be squad leader for once. He seems like he'd make a good squad leader. Friendly guy, you know? Definitely interceptor. There's no way I'm not going interceptor right here. Okay. Okay, standard. 
Plus, plus burst. Let's do this one, yes. This weapon, man, wow, it's so cool. So I can charge it off and fire a bigger shot. I wonder if it hoves. Surely that's all of them, right? There's one left. One measly little A-wing. Not anymore. <laughs> almost there, almost destroyed the frigate. Let's keep going on this. Trying to take down more of his auto turrets as well. No more frigate. Here we go. Final blow. For sure. There it goes. <laughs> Again, just so brutal. The Starhawk's still up there in the distance. We've got the Raider here with us. Okay. So we're going after the actual Starhawk now. Oh, the Star Destroyer. Wow, what a stunning battle, man. There goes one of the Nebulons. Let's go after that one next. I'm not really liking this primary weapon, to be honest. Now that I've got the hang of it, it just doesn't feel... I don't know. It just doesn't feel as powerful as the regular laser blasters. There goes another one. Okay, where's the next frigate at? Okay. Where are we going? I'll follow you. I have no idea. Haha, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Almost there. Almost got it. Missile's about to go off. Core is breached. Okay, can we get inside now? Oh, we can actually go inside. What? This is epic. Wait, so can we? This is ridiculous. We're inside the ship. We're in the actual tractor beam. What? How is our ship strong enough to do this? And luckily, this is all designed, so it's it's wide enough. But man, I'm being thrown around a bit while we're inside here. This is ridiculous. I thought it'd be more like the trench run, but this is much more unique. This is actually like an obstacle course we have to fly through. Uh, yes, I'm noticing the strange gravity effects. I keep getting thrown around. I mean, I'm in the middle of a tractor beam, am I not? Okay. There goes three of them. Okay, let's see if we can take down the others. Oh. Four. One more. That's it. Okay. I assume I have to get out of here now, or is that... Oh. Oh, no way. <laughs> Relax. Stay nimble and steer clear of the walls. Is this for real? I feel like it's just going to blow my ship to smithereens, right? Three, two, one. Oh, man. This is ridiculous. Titan three, brace yourself. Yeah, I'm braced. I'm ready. Oh, boy. <laughs> cool. This is ridiculous, though. So far, Beth. Come on. You did it. <laughs> Would have destroyed the ship, for sure. Come on, as if I survived that. And I'm still fine and flying. Looks like we destroyed the, the Starhawk, Starhawk, though, doesn't it? Has a time bomb. Nothing can stop it from overloading now. Oh, man. Except for... Lyndon Javes. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Oh my god, I'm shooting down Linda James. <laughs> I can't believe it's actually... I was right. It's actually putting us up against him. As if he's going to scramble all that. Come on, man. There's no way you're getting out of this. Come on, dude. 
the amount of hits I'm getting on his ship. He's got plot armor still. It's just like at the start, when he was in the TIE Advance. Trying to keep the engines balanced as well. Oh, you got more particle bursts? ending speech now is it time to kill him now can i kill him now that they finish their conversation that's pretty epic though like he's saying yeah obviously you're with the empire so you know you've made the wrong choice i agree he's in the right of course he is he's lyndon james man i'm losing a bit of health too I'm trying to end this out of ammo yeah resupply can't get him he's out maneuvering me this is a trick He's driving in a straight line. I'm hitting him directly at the back. What is going on? Your star hawk is finished. <laughs> Sweaty to trigger the cutscene. Oh, there he goes. Is he going to survive? Oh, crash landing. Mm, I don't know, I'm not convinced he died then. Imperial ships, prepare to withdraw. They are refusing, Captain. They plan to eliminate the rebel fleet. Fools. Our mission is complete. Take us uh -oh. to light speed. Leave their star hawk to burn. Yeah. Big mistake. You should have killed them then and there. With Admiral Sloan's unerring support, we have left Project Starhawk in ruins. Vanguard Squadron is doomed. Imperial ideals have prevailed. Loyalty, duty, discipline. And with our latest champion, we shall ascend to even greater heights. Titan III has been promoted to Flight Baron with full honor. Flight Baron. Well done. Your future with the Empire is bright. I take pride that the death of Lyndon Javes sends a message to all who would betray us. That wherever the enemies of the Empire may arise, Titan will be waiting, no matter the cost. This war is our crucible. We will emerge triumphant and bring this new Republic to its knees. Wow. So I'm assuming that is the end of the Imperial campaign. So now, are we about to start the... Or are we about to end the New Republic campaign? Okay. Oh, it's the whole squad. Oh, it's a sad day. It's a very, very sad day. Ardo confirmed what you already knew, Keo. The commander is gone. Yeah. You know he did the right thing, though. The civilians needed us. The commander sent Vanguard where we were needed most. Of course. This is what he fought for. That's why it hurts so much. Whatever happens next, this is the end of the line. I just wanted to say, I know we haven't flown together very long, but if I'm being honest, it feels like you've always been here. I speak for everyone in Vanguard when I say it's been a pleasure fighting beside you. I know we have a mission, but we also have each other to lean on and to protect. You've got my back out there, and I have yours, no matter what. Okay, General Sindula is waiting for us in the briefing room. Shall we? Okay, so Hera's here now. <laughs>
So Hera didn't die, of course. They've killed Linden, apparently. I'm not. I'm still not convinced he died, though. He kind of went into the ship. Perhaps I'm wrong about that, but they just didn't show a, you know, precise enough explosion. Hey, Harrison Dula. I'm sorry that our first real meeting is under such tragic circumstances. Me too. We're all feeling Linden's loss, but we're cornered. You and Vanguard have held back the Imperials, but we must get those civilian engineers out safely. I need you focused and ready to go. Linden saw you as a leader. An inspiration, even. That's the courage I need right now. Let's get you and the others briefed. There isn't much time. Okay, let's do that. What are we doing in the briefing room again? Everyone's here, everyone's chill. There's no damage around the place. We're looking okay. Let's do it. Thanks to your work on the Comsats, Anvil Squadron heard our call. And with Linden Jade, bought us time to repair our ships for escape. But now the Imperial fleet has Anvil's ships pinned down. They can't get out. So we're going back into the fight. Because we need to buy everyone time to escape. No one left behind. Ardo thinks we have one chance. It's drastic. But here it is. The moon is highly unstable. And the Imperial ships are positioned around it. If we crash the Starhawk into the moon's core, the shockwave should destroy those Imperial ships and let us escape, if we're fast. Whoa. How? The ship's tractor beam is firing uncontrollably as it overloads. If we can get a couple of Corvettes into that beam, we can tow it up to speed. Vanguard Squadron, you're up first. We're counting on you to clear the path and take out the closest Star Destroyer. Corvettes will then enter the tractor beam, and if Ardo's plan works, get the Starhawk moving. It should have a straight shot. Defend our fleet, in case the Imperials get wise to what we're doing. When the Starhawk collides with that moon, the shockwave will hit every Imperial ship in range. And you, unless you outrun it. It's risky, but sacrificing the Starhawk will save our fleet, and the engineers who will build the next one, and the next. The future of the New Republic depends on it. Let's finish this. So they're going to crash the Starhawk into that giant moon planet out there. I'm also wondering who's doing all the, the mock-up drawings and, you know, models for these animations. Very precise briefs we're getting. Otto, what's going on, my man? You should know. Linden always speaks... Spoke highly of you. He never forgot what you did for him at Fostar Haven. Thanks, man. I know war takes its toll. Even when the Imperials attacked Moncala, I had to keep my head. Linden was a friend. He knew exactly what he was doing when he challenged Teresa. Doesn't make it any easier. The Overseer has fallen back. But the other Imperial ships still have us pinned down. You and Vanguard are our last chance. I believe in you. But more importantly, I believe in Vanguard Squadron. Linden bought us time. I know you'll all make it count. Get to your ship. Every moment matters now. I agree. Let's do this. Let's get this done. Okay. Want to talk to Harrison Dola? Hey, it's been ages. We were able to evacuate all personnel from the Starhawk. Engineers, technicians, mechanics. Well, that's good. Thanks. We Great. We took a big loss today. Yes, we did. Those who died at Nadiri. Linden. It won't be in vain. So long as we survive, so does Project Starhawk. And with it, the future of the New Republic. Fortunately, the Imperials didn't seize control of Nadiri. They were too busy chasing us off. I've already sent Meteor and Hail Squadrons to secure the dockyards. Now all we have to do is make it out of here. Let's do that. To your fighter. There isn't much time. Okay. So let's get to the fighter. She's playing a much more serious role in this, isn't she, than she did in Rebels? Feels much more like, you know, someone in charge. General Sindula. 
Not that she wasn't in charge in Rebels as well, it just feels like the characters developed a bit more for this. Okay. Let's chat. Oh, Rodian! Hey, I want to go and visit the Rodian. How do I get over there? Can we get up onto the viewing gallery, perhaps? And then we can look, have a closer look at the Rodian? He's down there. He's obscured. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Frisk and Grace. Come on, look at me. I'm not scared. We'll get through this. We always do. Always do. How do you know? Because we never let each other down, that's why. So, after we pull this off, because we will, what are you going to do? This isn't the end of the war, Frisk. It's just one more battle. Yeah, but we've earned ourselves a whole pile of day passes. You ever been to the last hand on Nar Shadda? Best cantina in the Outer Rim. What a relief. Is that the same one they reference oh in Jedi Fallen Order? Taking this seriously. It's strange what a conscience leads you. It took me from being a daughter of Imperial lackeys all the way to this tipping point. I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss my family. Regardless of their loyalties, they are still my parents. My sister. But in Van God Squadron, I found a family I could stand beside proudly until the very end. Whatever happens next will be our legacy. And I'm proud to share it with both of you. <sighs> you, Gunny, Keo, you're all acting like this is the end. Am I the only one who remembers where Vanguard Squadron? There you go. That's not what I want to hear more of. Exactly. Exactly. Let's go. I want, to, I'm like, I want this guy on my wing. Haha. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, let's do it. You'll can choose any ship I want. X-wing, Y-wing, U-wing, A-wing. Pick whichever fighter you need. Definitely the A-wing. I like the rapid fire laser. Got a repair kit. Yeah, it's fine. Repair kit, seeker warheads, or particle burst. Which one? I like the burst, to be honest. Standard hull. What do we want? Oh, yes, we're in space. Okay. General Sindula to Imperial forces. Withdraw or be destroyed. We're in the fire now. Sure are. Yeah. Time to end this for the boss. One hell of a place to fight. I've never seen anything like it. Nope. It's a pretty stunning Those location. Better enjoy the view while they can. So I think I did actually choose the wrong... <laughs> the wrong type of starfighter for this, seeing as though I've chosen... I've chosen the A-Wing to take down the Star Destroyer. Not exactly the wisest move. Oop. Okay, sweet. Let's hit the hull. Nice. Gonna be like that guy in Re Return of the Jedi that flies into the... The shield generator of the, uh... Oh, there goes that one. Flies into the shield generator of the... Um, Super Star Destroyer. Do you like that guy? There we go, the assault is complete. We've done it. Star Destroyer Destroyer. That's the first stage of this, right? The Star Destroyer is out of the fight. Good job, everyone. Now, form up. What's next? Regroup with the Starhawk for stage two of the plan. Definitely with Lyndon. Inside the Starhawk, of course it is. Oh, here we go. So now we have to actually go inside, or we're just going on the outside to have a look. See where Lyndon is, where the hole where his fighter crashed. There we go. That's him. Grace, 
thought we lost you. Okay, now what then? Yeah, I'll explain later, General. Uh, what's our status? The Starhawk has a straight shot at the moon, sending in corvettes to get it moving. Give them some cover. Corvettes? I feel like you need a new Starfighter, man. Dude, I think you should go back to base and get a new Starfighter. You're on fire still. Or not. <laughs> Just gonna fly like that? Sure thing. Okay, alright, here we go. Tractor beam is active. So let's see what happens if we actually fly through here. Tractor beam. This is gonna be quite an epic ending if we see the cutscene of... The Star Destroyer, sorry, the uh, Starhawk go going into that moon. Can't wait to see how that looks. Starhawk velocity, so we're just waiting for this to... Yeah, we're just waiting for this to basically go up, so we just have to defend the ship to that point. Take care of him. Noticing when you don't have the power set to the, uh, to the blasters, you're actually don't have much firepower like you lose your firing ability pretty quickly it. It doesn't retain oh so Reaper destroyed wouldn't that be a change here we go I ordered them back that maneuver almost burned out their engines okay okay sweet so we're just gonna get it to there it's too bad we're losing the Starhawk like this. It was built to stop Imperial fleets, and that's exactly what it's gonna that's do. That's so true. Thanks oh, here we go. Almost destroyed. Oh. Trying to take down this cruiser. There we go. Now the one incoming. Okay, let's take care of that one too. Really enjoying just using the boost mechanic every now and then to try and spin around to face another ship. Okay, so now it's just a time to destroy some more Imperial fighters as they're coming in. Lots of them coming in on the way. Honestly, this mission is starting to feel like a bit of a grind. I wish it was more epic. We're just escorting this giant oh, Starhawk towards the, the moon surface, but just feels a bit grindy, like a bit repetitive. Not the most of original missions in the game, for sure. Almost there. Oh. It's actually lost quite a lot of health, hey. That's insane. It made it. The Starhawks as intact as possible. It's going to land like a hammer. Good work, Vanguard 5. It looks like a hammer, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Oh, my God, and we're getting out of there. Yeah, get out of there, man. Far out. Wow, and it's going to just absorb the Star Destroyer. Yeah, no crap. <laughs> Where's Lyndon? Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> this is pretty epic. Wow. This is the type of mission I want more of. I'll have to go back and play this in VR once, once that's out. Once I, once sorry, once I finish this campaign because this is epic. Oh my gosh! Wow. Yeah, we're doing fine, man. Whoa! Oh my god. Trying to escape these explosions, the planet's destroying it behind us. Insane. Oh my god, Lyndon, you are a crazy, crazy man. Which way is up? There is no up. So good. Oh, is he gonna fly through that hole? There's light. Follow me. We're almost out. Pretty risky going inside a giant asteroid like this, isn't it? I did it. I mean, we did it. Let's head home. 
Chandrilla's ahead. Our people will be safe, and we can plan to rebuild. You did it, Vanguard. Project Starhawk is only just beginning. Vanguard? Punch it. Wow, amazing. Loved it. What a mission. Okay, so, are we still going, or what's the deal here? Hope is like the sun. If you only believe in it when you can see it, huh. you'll never make it through the night. We know our new Republic faces great challenges. But thanks to Vanguard Squadron, peace is closer than ever. General Sindula sacrificed one Starhawk for the chance to build a fleet. From Nadiri, Commander Jades will guide our best and brightest, forging the strength to challenge an empire. The war goes on, but we face it with renewed courage. Inspired by heroes who fly for freedom as we emerge from the darkness of imperial oppression into the light of a new era. Wow, there it is. Incredible. I will say it's not a game that I felt focused so much on the story, more on the... It's more about the struggle between the New Republic and the Empire. We didn't really see, you know, character development and deep relationships and a lot of kind of really dialogue-focused character building. It was much more a focus on the grandeur of the Star Wars galaxy and of, you know, these two sides fighting one another. And, um, yeah. Personally, yeah, enjoyed the story itself. Enjoyed, I, I enjoyed more the missions. Parts of it, I think, were a little bit grindy, but, you know, in terms of introducing you to all the Starfighter mechanics, how to actually fly and play the game, I've, um, yeah. I think it's cool. Good job. Good game. <laughs> well done to all the developers and everyone who made this. Incredible. I can't believe, honestly, how much it was inspired by the original X-Wing and TIE Fighter games way back in the 90s. That to me was really obvious and even in the way the briefing rooms were set up how you just you know spend a bit of time in the hangar and then fly out to the ships the, sh the cutscenes of the ships leaving the capital ships and flying out into the galaxy and then returning home all of that also inspired heavily by those games in the 90s so incredible would play again i'll have to go back and play the whole thing in vr now but um yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this, if you enjoyed the story, if you thought it lived up to expectation, if you didn't even have expectations to begin with. This game isn't the most hyped Star Wars game of all time, but it's certainly delivered. It's delivered what it promised, a very unique, very true Starfighter experience, and that's exactly what we got here. But I appreciate you watching this. Thanks for watching this. My name's Andrew. I'll catch you soon. <laughs> Stay bombastic.